We back. I'm on stream. Let me um. Hmm, I did that wrong. I don't want the noise in the background. Gotta get right, man. We ain't been here in a minute. We gotta get right. Remember what, remember where we came from. Remember what we here for. Y'all can't tell me I ain't edited the fuck out this up. But we ain't done yet. Come on, bro. I ain't gonna lie. This a whole lot. I ain't gonna lie. I hate this up. It's about taking their hope away. Pointing to the fans of the home visitors. What the fuck this shit called? Home, home team. We not? Come on, man. It's perfect. Expectations throughout the Mountain West are that the Aggies should pick up right where they left off. But the bar is certainly higher now after an 11 win season. Utah State, with those five all conference selections and preseason offensive player of the year, Jordan Love, picked to finish second behind Boise State. Weapons on yeah, this offense. Yeah. I got you. I've been here for a while. Yes, sir. Whoever touches the Get off me. Get off me. Get off me. Yeah. 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 Bro, I edited the fuck out this video, bro. Cause he's I put that's the game clip in there. Come here. <laughs> we'll watch the whole thing before we get started. Just reminiscing real quick. Get off me, nigga. He could. He could. Nope, we there. He might have a chance to the twenty, to the ten. He's into the open field. Makes a move to the twenty, to the ten. Touchdown, Utah State. The quarterback challenge goes way back. He looks to throw on first down. Throws it. Intercepted. It's the linebacker. Defense used to go crazy. Looking like a fullback. That was a great animation. That 
That changed the game right there. Upset of the year right here. Oh! Boma! Boma Sona! Had to get that boy a name after that. I literally gave him the name Boma Soma after that. Bro, he had like three sacks, a pick six. Like, he went crazy against them. And he like 70 overall. <laughs> My boy was out there lurking. Bro, and that was like the beginning of the game, like first play of the game type shit. Or like we just pointed to them or something. There's some good animations in this game, man. He We live, man. We live, man. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Stand up. Stand up. Hold on. What we doing? EA Sports. It's in the game. Hello and welcome to NCAA. They got me lit. They got me ready. Had to get right. Had to get back right. Ugh. Confidence up now. It's been so long, bro. I ain't played this one in a minute. <clears throat> and uh, uh, this team not that good, so you got to <sighs> get focused. I'm looking at the wrong screen. Like, oh, I need to move this, Let me move this over. Oh, I could hang it up because y'all can't even see that. Bit. We still need it. I'll buy another round. What week are we in, first of all? Wow. We lost to Michigan. That was Peyton Manny team, by the way. We lost to Peyton Manny team by 14. Wow. We beat Oklahoma by a bucket. We got one more first down in them. They beat us a total offense. We beat them in rushing. We had, oh, okay, I thought, oh, okay, okay, okay. We had four passing touchdowns. We had better completions on third and fourth. We both was 100% in the red zone. They had more red zone attempts, so we had some big plays. Turnovers was even. 
Man, that was another game. We had time to we had time of position. Only three incompletions. Two picks. He balled out uh whoever that was. Alright, rushing. Damn. Dinko had all of them. 182 of them things. And Maddie was receiving. I don't know if Bailey playing offense or defense. So I gotta look at this. It was a 14-7. <clears throat> and they came back and did the same thing in the second quarter. Third quarter, <laughs> only field goals. And then we had a crazy fourth quarter. Let's get to this fourth quarter. They scored first. And we scored a passing touchdown. They just had a 63 passing touchdown, 63 yard. Then we went to 30. Then they came back with an 80 yard touchdown run. Fuck. And then Bailey and Bishop had a 71 yard touchdown pass. They hit a field goal to get their 17. And then we had one more touchdown pass to end the game. It looked like we had to, uh, yeah, we had to score to get that dub. Look like. <clears throat> Uh, it looked like they were up. They were up in the fourth quarter. Oh, my goodness. All right, let's go look at some stats. That was a crazy game. It's been so long, I forgot about that. And I be playing, I got a PlayStation 3, so I be playing NCAA on my PlayStation. I ain't gonna lie. I like the, I, I like the uh, NCAA on PlayStation a little better. But I do think it's because of, um, what do you call that? It's a, it may be a newer version. Why it's better. Cause that one's too NBA, NCAA, it's NCAA 12. And the only reason I'm playing NCAA 08 because I got Madden 08 and them the only games at the place where I went, they had both of them and I want to be able to transfer players and stuff like that. So he's going crazy. He's going crazy when it comes to the uh, passing game. Oh no, no he's not. Hey, damn, damn. Damn. Okay, I thought he was. Eesh. Bob Bob Country and Georgia going in. Let's see what else we got. That's it. Ben Cinco. Booby. Booby not really eating at LSU like that. Mighty Joe Young at Tennessee. He playing pretty good. Hey man, not bad. <clears throat> hey bro, I'm kind of salty. We lost that uh, game in the game to them. Michigan. Cause it's like, I mean, we lost by 14, but we was in it. Like, you know, I feel I remember that game. We was in it. It just came down to the end. They took off. Welcome, football fans. Today's game is between the Utah State Aggies and the Idaho Vandals. I probably only play offense against them. Option might be a good call here. First and ten. Just don't turn the ball over on the 39 yard line. <laughs> Davenport, the ball carrier. A good running game. No gain on the play. 
football team. Second it allows 10. you to set the Ball tempo on of the, the game and gives your defense line. time to rest on the sideline. Trying to remember who's good on my offense. Okay, my tight end, my tight end be balling. I remember that. <clears throat> Hey man, you just made a good catch, bro. You gotta, you gotta double up on that. Intended receiver on the play. Oh, we going for it. Fourth and eight. They're not good enough. Tonight, bro, like, it's no way you're stopping everything. First and ten, ball on the 32 yard line. Next time, I'm gonna do this rebuild with them, but it's gonna be on a different team. But I, the next, after this one, if we don't jump into the Madden one, I'm going to do the one with d friend and all my friends. And we're going to make it accurate to what I think their abilities are. And my homeboy, Najee, he all speed. And he going to be 5'4". He going to be a 5'4 safety. Whatever, however tall he is. And can't catch. <laughs> Number five on the carry. I ain't gonna lie. <clears throat> In this situation, I challenge my offensive line. To Offense got to get better. To I'm tired of these scrambles being the main source of offense. Sheesh. Number 13. I tried to hurry up and get in there. One yard and have it yeah. Remember, Second you only have to break the plane of the goal line to get six. Navajo! Navajo! Sheesh. The we gotta get this run game going. <clears throat> oh no, boy. Oh, I think I know. I, for oh, I forgot about that. He played his. I changed his uh, position to receiver, so his fumbling is high. Or uh, it's not as high as it should be. This is a solid defense. Play it out. Oh. Was goody. What's up, BK? How you doing, brother? Man, we scored. This team, sorry, so I'm only playing um offense. How do we score? I'd 
send the back off tackle. Maybe he can make a play. That's what's up, man. I finally got some time to stream. I had to get back in here. Oh, my goodness. Where have this been all season? Well, they're like a little Marshawn, a little Marshawn right there, huh? Like Lynch Jr. Get off me, get off me. <clears throat> that was about five tackles he broke. Let's take that. Spread the defense and throw the ball in a goal line situation just like this. Yes, sir. NCAA 08, man. Old school. Ooh. Ooh. He almost took off again. Yes, sir. That's what my uh that's what school my brothers go to. I'm technically playing as them right now. Back to the off, passing offense. You got 14 and 13. I got this one in 12. I'm trying to get my hands on 14. I just have not been able to. I forced it. I could have ran. I want to get my hands on the NCAA 14. But I'm gonna go back to that store I went to, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna get like NCAA 12. But I need a, I need to have, a, I gotta find a Madden that's gonna match whatever NCAA I'm gonna buy. Cause whatever I do on NCAA, I want to take a few of the draft classes when I go on to Madden and use them draft classes like you could back in the day. Uh, it'll give more depth, more fun, long term. Damn, you a receiver. Man, I, I don't even want to get hyped, bro. I don't even want to get hyped. I want them to impress me, man, because I don't want it to look like Madden. I don't want it to feel like Madden. I need them to do better than I need them to. I need it to be just as good as the old NCAA's. But it should be fun as hell. I say that because the fact that we can. Um, we're going to have the NCAA bracket, and hopefully they put in a setting where you can adjust the bracket. Oh, my God. If you can do, like, 16, if you can adjust it to, like, 8, bro, that would be so fucking beautiful. That would be so fucking beautiful. This team, sorry. We got we to gotta kill them. Yeah, Madden is terrible, bro. So that's and they, it's the same people making Madden as making EA. I mean, as making NCAA, which is EA. So it's it's I'm not. That's one reason I'm not hyped for it or not trying to get hyped for it. And then I don't know when it's coming out. Like, is it a is it a date that's coming out? If it's a release date that's coming out, I'm gonna be excited just to test it out. But. I, I know it's getting made, but the fact that I don't know when is like kind of disappointing. D passes suck for NCAA. In the, like, is it too easy or is not good? Cause it depends, man. A lot of open, a lot of stuff on this game and on my NCAA 12, it's easy to get stuff open, but a lot of times you may not have time to pass it. Uh, is it too easy? Or is it too hard? What do you mean when you say D passes? Ooh. Arm strength is bad. I haven't played NCAA 14 in a long time, so I can't speak for 14. I was playing NCAA 12, bro. I threw damn near like a 60-yard, 70-yard bomb. Like, I had like one of them Madden abilities or some shit. Why to get open? Yeah, no release date, huh? That's, I think they said by 2025 or something like that, or 2024. It was one of them. I know it was like 
a two year or three years away. But <clears throat> keep going. Why you keep running? Oh yeah. Oh, that was a horrible throw. I didn't know I was on my back shoulder. I mean, not my back shoulder. I was on my back leg. But no, I can't wait to NCAA like, come out. I, I'm definitely be ready to play it. Play should work out very nice. Oh, like a year and a half away. Yeah, that that sounds reasonable. Cause when I heard that, it was a while ago. It was a few months ago when they said it. Was, when I remember it being like two years out or something like that. Man, that'd be amazing. But even then, bro, these these games were so much fun. And like the recruiting databases and stuff like that, I think you can you you can you can play around with them. You can add your own players and stuff, so it's almost like you don't even need the new games. Only reason only reason I need the new NCAA because this don't got a bracket. If this had a final like four bracket, I wouldn't even need a new NCAA. I don't know why I'm playing defense. <clears throat> yeah, we, we definitely gonna get rid of these boys. You ask, so I'm telling you, run this play. First and ten. Ball on the forty-four yard line. Yeah, two teams ain't enough at all. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. He drug <laughs> He drug him a good like five yards. I didn't even think that was gonna be a completion. It was barely open. I'd be surprised if the starters stay in past this half or this quarter. My boy gonna get drafted in a third round. All them interceptions I ain't thrown. Graphics, man. I'm I don't even care about the graphics, bro. I need the quality of gameplay to be good. Like graphics. Leave that to the last thing, cause sometimes they try to make the graphics look so good, it make the I feel like the gameplay suffer. Maybe I'm crazy, but I, I know the graphics gonna be extremely better. But I need I'm more concerned about like the uh what is it called like the physics that they're gonna use. That's more what I'm concerned about. I don't I want it to feel I think I still want it to feel a little arcadey. I don't need it to simulate real life by any means. I did not have to run the ball there. <clears throat> but that's my that's my biggest thing, bro, because like, if you play NCAA 14 and then you go play Madden 14, I don't feel like the games the gameplay graphics was the, I mean not the graphics, but the physics was the same. You can do more stuff like be more agile and move different type of ways on NCAA than you ever could on uh Madden, I feel like. Come on. There you go. Number 85. A well tuned option with 37. Defense. Makes the tackle. Did my boy hurt? Yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 47 yard line. Lucky, lucky. Yeah, hey, I got I got to get a more up to date mat. I mean NCAA because you can't even update the uh playbooks on here. Or like, I mean, not the playbooks. It's not the playbooks. The um, 
the how they have the hot routes and stuff like you got to change formations and when you want to audible you can't audible from the same formation but yeah it's a little it's a little dated in that aspect 85 our best receiver shit number 85 on the reception is my boy hurt what, what are you doing Right, so okay. Mascot mode. I forgot about mascot mode. Third and one. Yeah, I need I need the mascot mode. I need them not to forget about the the crowd noise, because that's very important to me. Like <clears throat> the crowds having their chance. Uh, some crowds being louder than others, like. I used to love that in the old NCAA 06. Like, if you're playing um, at Texas versus if you're playing at shit Harvard or something, like, even if the Harvard was winning against a, a Power Five school, they fans not gonna be nearly as loud as if um, you were playing at Texas and they were doing the same thing, beating a good team. We definitely are running team. Right, we just don't we just don't have the receivers to pass the ball, man. Orange is versus the trees. That's hilarious. It's bringing back nostalgia. The key to a successful screen is being able to fool the defense and then blocking them once they see what's going on. They gotta make road to glory more better. Bring back Bring back the road to glory where you add like the little classes you gotta take. Bring back. So that's GPA. They need to have like some some type of practice where it's fun you could do. Similar to like, bro, you gotta look at a game like FIFA and how in depth FIFA is as a game, like. When you talk about the stadiums, when you talk about the fan noise, when you talk about the amount of different drills you can do in in NC, I mean not NCAA in FIFA, like bro, I need that in NCAA. I need that a level of caring and depth in NCAA, man. Because I was playing FIFA and I'm like, bro, how is Madden so ass when you look at a game like that? It's clear the developers are, the developers are so much engaged, so, so much more engaged with um, soccer than they are with football. Or at least the developer side of things. Or I don't know, maybe it's the funding, whatever you want to call it. But you can tell they putting more into FIFA than they are. Um, Madden College Ultimate Team. Oh, we could do that because we would have the licensing for player names and stuff like that. Wow, that would be that would be different because it's like it would be so amazing because there's what a hundred teams, and then you maybe even can get some FBS players. Like, bro, that'd be so hard. That'd be so hard. Like you, you could probably even get D two players, like the best D two players on their teams type shit. Like, especially if they was really doing packs. But it's like I don't think NCAA or EA would be so like I don't think they'll do that research enough to do that. Like you will have to really be studying to know players like to give them purple packs and stuff like that. <laughs> That'd be crazy though. They used to have it. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I'm not a big ultimate player, ultimate team player, but I didn't know that. At the end of the third quarter, the score is. <clears throat> I never really used to play online when I was younger, so I used to stick to like Road to Glory and Dynasty mode and stuff like that. For any defense. I always, well, I assume that ultimate team was always online. I know it's a big online thing now. Bro, this game got some great animations. He didn't completely slip, but he like slipped out of his cut. 
If it was raining, he would have fell. But it's accurate because like he's like a sixty five year he's like a sixty five overall. He shouldn't be running the most crisp routes. I like that. That was live. Okay, yeah, I'm, I, I, that's what I thought. Yeah, I couldn't really play online. I didn't have online system, so. All right, bro, we done with these boys. My boy hurt. Let's move on. But yeah, I'm very interested. And even then, I would play Madden if they could get back to that level of depth. Because you gotta think, back in the old Maddens, man, I played some of the old Maddens, what you could do in franchise mode was amazing. Create a team mode, like it was so much stuff you could do that just added to the fun. I'm playing on 360 right now. I wish I was playing on PlayStation. <laughs> I like the graphics a little better on PlayStation. Mm -mm. Oh, I don't want to recruit, bro. It's so like miserable. This team sucks so ass. Like, no team, no no dude really be want to come. Let me see. Oh, we winning his. Not winning that one. Okay, I ain't know. We, we up there on some of these dudes. What was. I really don't want to hard pitch that. And you're gonna have to buy one of them things online. You either have to buy a new battery pack online or buy one of the plugs that you can uh plug up manually. Go to um go to a pawn shop. Go to a pawn shop. They be having these controllers for like damn near cheap as hell. That'd probably be your best bet. They probably have some extra battery packs and stuff too. Or yeah, I, that'd probably be your best bet. Without having to uh spend a lot of money or wait online. For shipping and stuff. Oh yeah, I remember. I re I remember. I figured out how to do recruiting a little better. I was hard pitching all of my sales, and I was upsetting people. Oh, you good now? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, battery pack problems. Having to find new batteries and shit. That was, that's the old school days. And even before that, it was the um what is it called? When you get all your all your controller wires to get tangled up. <laughs> oh, y'all need the back piece. Yeah, I remember them days, bro. You'll have like two different controllers and all of the wires, man, that shit just get all tangled. Memory cards, old school days. Damn, bro. I get off the phones. And I gotta do my recruiting, man. He like, your conference suck? Bet. <laughs> I can run it up over there because our conference ain't good. I don't know why he got so happy. <laughs> I have heard of that. Put two coins. That's hilarious. <laughs> I mean, whatever works, bro. You got to get the job done, man. That's hilarious. Quincy Smith.
Oh, he got sway. I just worry about the four stars. Well, that's a good game. Who on West Virginia? There's somebody that I like, created that went to West Virginia. No? I could have swore. What we got up next? San Jose State. Fresno. Okay. We just got to make sure our offense is good before we go to Boise, man. Yeah, I've seen, bro, I've seen that before. That's not the first time I heard of that. I know what I'm going to do if I ever, uh, well, technically, I got this controller I could use. Oh, yeah, you could probably get one of these, too. But these be expensive nowadays. They used to be like $20. Now they're like $35. Well, I think that'll work on there, too, but I want it to be wireless. We rank number seven. Let's go. Hey, it's my conference, big dog. It's my conference. And if I simulate it, we're going to lose. So I can't simulate the teams, bro. It's my conference, big dog. We Utah State. What You, you want to see my team? Hold on. I'm going to show you my team. I got two studs, which are my brothers. But outside of them, my team is horrible. We, we, we are a bad team. <laughs> we just so happened to upset a lot of people last year. And we even up, made an upset this year. But we played Oklahoma and won by one point, bro. It was 45 to 44. Upset. Because let me show you my team. Let me show you, bro. Oh, okay. You know. You know. Okay. 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 But no, these teams are ass. <laughs> like San Jose for real, bro. This is like a D2 school. I've never played this team in my life. But we're not gonna we're not gonna play defense against them, man. It's gonna be all day. Get our offense so we can our stats can look good. Try to get somebody in the house and race possibly. It's gonna be easy to get in the house and race. You play teams like this. Oh, he gotta run him over. Running back had running back got hurt in the third quarter and already had 254 rushing yards. Our tight end really our best receiver. I'm ranked 11, bro. I've been grinding, bro. We've been grinding. I mean, we had a hell of a hell of a year, hell of a year last year. Man, he breaking. Fuck out these 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 little weak ones. We probably be ranked top five if we ain't lose to Michigan. They gave us that work. They beat us by 14. Davenport with the reception. Yo, how about this one? On the tackle at the seven yard line. First and goal. Everything all sweet and games when we play these sorry teams, man. But we got to be on point when we get to these good teams. Oh, touchdown. We missed our field goal. I would try and establish a good running game with this play. First and ten. Hit them boys with some play action. No, they ain't ready for it. Harris. 
I just knew I threw a pick. This is what college football is all about. At the 37-yard line. Second and one. Ball on the 37-yard line. Davenport on the run. Keep it on Five the yard ground. Gain on the play. I go off tackle right here. Carry. I run the option right here. Gain of eight the on the play. The option. Ball on the 24-yard line. Davenport on the carry. Gain of when four on the play. When you're this close to scoring a touchdown, I'm telling my guys to hold on to If it game. ain't, we a problem. First and don't need to be ranked number 11. We're going to struggle against ranked teams a little bit. But non ranked like this, we got to kill them. <laughs> you got to be careful, man. Boys fumble so easy. Get our tight end a touchdown. I really just got to run a consistent offense and um, utilize me running the ball a lot. So with that running the ball, is going to suck in those safeties. And that's going to make coverage a lot more open for my receivers that's not as good. I just got to make – I got to base my passing offense off of my run game or my other offense. Did I get the new card? No, I'm getting it next week. I don't really play multiplayer like that, so I'm not in a rush to get it. I'm uh I'm a Warzone player, so I probably just uh I ain't gonna wait. I just I want to play that more. But I'm gonna get it next week. See what it's looking like. Oh, why am I playing defense? They scored. Man, that's in the realm of possibility against my team for sure. Oh, with the option. First and ten. You getting the um you getting it or you got it? I'd run it down to the first and ten. Oh, yeah. I, yeah, I think you said that already. You said that last stream. Number 36 makes the tackle. It's just a matter of pitching six six on the play. So go get it done. I can't wait for the new uh, war zone. I can't wait to the new war zone because they're going to have proximity check. Which that's gonna make shit a whole lot funnier, man. It's gonna be some good content that come out of uh, the new Warzone, man. Cause it's like you'll be able to be in the fight and you can hear the other team yelling and screaming. You can also talk shit to them mid game. I can't wait, bro. I think I'm going to have some of the best fun of my life playing that game. Uh, as far as games go, I think that's going to be one of the funnest games we play. Long as, like, the graphics and everything good, like, I know for a fact that's going to be extremely fun, man. And it's going to cause people to have to be a lot more strategic because you can't just be talking. 
because that's going to let a team know where you at, let a team know you there and some other stuff. So it's like, I can't wait, man. Snap on that shit. It's a few games I'm waiting on. I'm ready for that Harry Potter game to come out. It's supposed to be coming out like uh, I think the beginning of next year or the end of this year, something like that. A good that look like it's gonna be an RPG game, like role player game. To to I gotta get into that. Time to rest on the I already love Harry Potter. I already love magic stuff. Uh oh. Oh, I tried to crease him. A nice little draw play. On the play. First and ten. That's going to be amazing. I'm trying to think what other games that I'm waiting on. I guess I shouldn't have uh, drilled it. Oh, Lord. He picked six me. I tried to hit stick too early. Lord, that was he was wide open. The down the field passing on this game sucked though. I ain't gonna lie. I like it way better on NCAA twelve. As a coach, you gotta be with what the defense yeah, I've been watching college football a lot more recently. Um, I used to watch it a lot when I was younger, but I got back into it like this year. Been watching Tennessee and stuff like that. Who else I've been watching? Texas. I've been watching Texas. I've been interested to see what Queen Ewell is going to do for Texas and see if they're going to make this comeback. Bring Texas back to his formidable self. When we used to be, oh, gods of NCAA. What game? Uh, I think I know what you're talking about, but I can't remember it. It was like a number three school versus number eight or something like that. I can't think of what team it is, though. I'm really playing around. Ain't nobody getting open. Oh, Georgia and Tennessee, number one. Oh, my God. That's going to be a great game. That's going to be a great game. Who you think going to win? Who you think going to win? I'm... Georgia's been there the last few years, man. They've been they've been top quality the last like three years. Tennessee, this kind of their first year being up there as one of the good schools, man. I like the uh, quarterback though from Tennessee. Yeah, I could too. I like the quarterback. They got a they got a good quarterback on Tennessee. I think uh Georgia still got their good quarterback too, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, he almost stand on this. The SEC is crazy, man, right now. Alabama still the top school that it is. Bro, we're tied. Easy win. I mean, it's still an easy win, but like, come on, bro. Simulation, what are y'all doing? Timeout called by the offense. I throw it deep here. You may be able to gain a chunk of yards if the defense is not ready for it. Second and three. Ball on the 42 yard line. Yeah, I think he might. He might can pull it off. If he win this game, he probably win the Heisman. Oh, he was open. If he can win this game, 
He gonna win the Heisman. Tennessee beat Bama. But what in Bryson, uh, like Bryce, what's the name, Hurt? Oh, he got hurt that game. He played? Oh, shit. Okay, Tennessee made it. Whoever won this game probably can win the national championship. Because, I mean... I mean, I don't think that Alabama going to fold next time they play again. Because these teams going to have to play. One of these three teams we talking about going to have to play each other again. Because they got to play in the SEC national champ or SEC uh, championship game or conference championship game. Twelve teams make the playoffs this year? Dead ass. They switched it? Dead ass. Be, are you for real? Ah, look that up. I did not know that. Stop, get off of that. Whoa. Damn, girl, get your eyes down. It's not popping up when I try to look it up. Dang, that's crazy. And it's active this year. They changed it for this year. That's crazy. Oh my God! This might be the one of the best years in college football ever. That's crazy. I did not know that, bro. That that changes things, bro. Like the four game, the four people was cool, but I've been waiting for them to open this up. It changes the dynamic of college football, man. It makes it, it makes it more interesting than the in, than of uh, NFL to me. If I'm gonna be real, that's damn near more entertaining than the NFL. God damn! Block! Alright, I gotta stop playing, bro. I'm being too, like, fancy and shit. We probably be blowing these boys out. That's gonna be amazing to see. So, if Texas didn't fucking lose that other game, they could have made it to the... Bro, Texas only losses that uh who did they lose to early in the season when Quinn Ewers got hurt? Alabama. If Alabama would have been their only loss, bro, they could have made it, bro. Then they fuck around and lost to like Texas Tech or some shit like that. Number twenty seven with the carry. Tell your kids that Yeah, yeah, that's gonna it's gonna be very entertaining, man. It makes, like, the bright lights of college football, like, longer. Because usually you just get the one big game on a Monday, and it's cool, but it don't bring that same energy as, like, well, now that they switched it up, it's to four teams. I can't say that no more. But even then, like, them four teams, it felt like you was being cheated because there would be some other teams, like, why they not there? Even though, oh, my God, the fuck? I've never seen that before. Even though, even though when they still had the four teams, you kind of knew that Alabama was gonna like win regardless. Even if they would have had eight teams, it's like who's beating Alabama? But that's the thing, though. Make Alabama have to play three or four playoff games. They may not win as many as they had. 
Cause that's 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 different having to win three or four playoff games versus just having to win two. No, that's gonna be fun. Establish a good running game with this play. Robbery is gonna be made stronger. Texas still got a shot. That's good. Robbery is gonna be better. It's just not random. I'm trying to think what else is gonna be better. Like certain matchups that you probably would never see because of like ball game um, bits. We're going to get to see a lot of different unique matchups. We're going to get to see a lot of unique upsets. Like, we get Cinderella teams. I'm a Texas, like, yeah, I'm a Texas fan at heart. Like, that's just, like, born and raised type shit. But you're going you're gonna to get it a lot, man. Like, the Cinderella teams where, like, Texas could easily win the national championships like this year. Like they not, they not, they're not that good. But let's just say it. Like if they got hot, they can go on a run, even though they didn't have the best year. Like and that's what's been like the that's what's been cheating the NCAA because it'll be a team that's lost two games or a team that may lost three games, but they're still a great team or be a great matchup versus other teams. Now they get a shot to get in there and make a get a chance to make something happen. Like, that's different. You're a Tennessee fan? Oh, no, nah, I'm not. I don't hate on bandwagoners <laughs> for 10 years. That's crazy. Yeah, it, that's that's pretty much how I've been. Uh, I can't since I can't remember I've been a Texas fan down there, especially since Vince Young. But it's been hard to be a fan the last like shit ever since Colt McCoy down there. We ain't had a good, we ain't had a good uh, quarterback or team since called McCoy years. We got a cornerback at receiver, bro. We do not have depth. If Texas lose another game, they can't make it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure of it. And that means they probably gonna, they gotta play in the national championship. I mean, not national championship. They got to play in the uh, Big 12 championship game. Because they beat Oklahoma. Let me see. Let me look up Texas record. Oh, did they? They lost to Oklahoma State too, right? They beat West Virginia. Oh yeah, they lost to Oklahoma State, and they lost to Texas Tech. Yeah, they they. This is a nice little draw play. They gotta be TCU. They had to be TCU, but at Texas it'll be a long shot. It'll be a long shot, man. At this point, if they didn't lose to Texas Tech, they would have had a chance. Even though that was an overtime, they was winning by like 14 points before uh, the fourth quarter or some shit. You can't lose that game. Oh, shit, excuse me. You can't lose that game, man. Nothing is better than dominating the line of scrimmage and running right at that defense. First and ten. <laughs> My fucking nose itch. Oh, I thought I handed it to him. Oh, 
Oh shit, I'm playing around. I'm thinking it was a pass option play. That's a bunch of yards to go for a first down there. I just Third threw the ball down the field. Ball Maybe you'll get a 47 line. yard line. God damn, bro. How many times I've been sacked this game? It's stressing me out. As a coach, you gotta be concerned with what the defense is throwing at first and ten up there. I need to put Bailey at receiver more when we pass the ball. Is he out again? Oh, he's just tired. Okay, you're a freshman? Oh, no, that's not the freshman. We look good, though. Whoever that was. Appreciate that. Good run on first now. Can't be there, buddy. Ball on the 44 yard line. Oh, shit. On the carry. Gain of six on the play. Yeah. Five point game. So you just need the right it's trash. We should, we should go down in rankings after shit like this. Oh, that's a touchdown if we make that block. That was wide open. We just got to make one block. Fourth and one. They really feel like they in this game. It's funny. I do not feel it. Hang on. <laughs> he had to make a hell of a play for that. He can come here. He almost had me. Nah, we dug these boys, man. We can't, we can't give up with this, this great season we got going against San Jose State. I should be fired if we lose this game. Get rid of me. I quit if we lose this game. <laughs> I really probably would. I ain't gonna lie. So we starting over. We've been playing with him, man. We've been playing with him. I can't super soon. San Jose State, my boy. Sound like a community college. They put 21 points on us. That's crazy. I got to score again. Hold on. Give me the ball back. Oh, they put 28 on us, bro. That's nasty. That's nasty, bro. Get out of here. We got to we gotta distance ourselves from this game as quick as possible. That's nasty. 33 to 28. It looked like it came down to the wire, bro. They never had a shot. They ain't going to report on that, though. Then they're gonna report on that. They were never in the game, bro. They never took the lead. We just took our foot off the gas pedal, man. We could have crushed them, bro, but we wanted to get them boys a. Uh, you know, man. We wanted to let them boys live, man. Everybody don't deserve to have a a uh, a crazy death, bro. We ain't gotta kill everybody. We let them live, man. It does nothing for us to crush teams like that, you know? You know what I really was doing as a coach, man? I don't want us getting big-headed. <laughs> I don't want us getting big-headed, so I had to keep the game close with my play calling. Now we start blowing out these sorry teams. We think we're great because, oh, we beat San Jose by 50 points. Like, woohoo! We should feel great about ourselves. 
the most random teams be high ranked. Oh, for real, bro. Oh, my God. I'm playing NCAA. Um, NCAA 12 in my, in my, on my PlayStation. When I say I lost one game, and I'm playing, like, the hardest, like, conference. I'm playing the hardest non-conference games. Like, I have an A-plus schedule. Fucking the Troy. Troy the Trojans, that, that maroon-ass team that's never been fucking relevant in football, right? They're ranked the number two team, and I'm ranked number three. And I can't I can't play in a national championship game because they had this fucking cupcake-ass fucking season and went undefeated and played a whole bunch of unranked teams all fucking year. Guess what I did the next year? Schedule their ass first game of the year. Yeah, I mean, fuck up. And then they always lose in a championship game. They always lose in a championship game. Like, I can see if they'll upset them, but it's never even close. They be losing by 20, 30 points, bro. Like, I need the BCS bowlers to do better than that. Because <laughs> they, they, they just not, they just not eating. <laughs> Let me let me see what that trophy is in the back. What did we win last year? We won the WAC. We won the Rose Bowl. We beat we beat USC in the Rose Bowl. But I don't think we were undefeated though. Western Michigan. Easy blowout. So what I be doing, whenever a team do that the next year, I'll put them in a, a conference or I'll add teams to that conference. Because a lot of times those teams don't be having conference uh, championship games and that be adding to why they, like, they don't be having to play the best team in their conference at the end of the year. That give them another chance to lose. And I'll add them to a... a yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, you're going to do, you supposed to destroy them. <laughs> like, if they be fucking ass, but I'll put them into a conference that be a, a better conference. I'm not going to put them in like the SEC or anything like that, but I'm going to put them in a conference that's not the same trash ass conference they was in. And I keep doing that until pretty much the only teams that's left are like four schools in a sorry ass conference. And it's like, I don't give a fuck. That's, I'd rather it like that than you motherfuckers trying to act like y'all should be here. But it's always one team that just tries to pop up and act like they're fucking goaded. But this is the only dude I really want. I don't care about anybody else, bro. Get this guy in my building. Like, Deion Sanders got that number one cornerback, bro. I need this guy. I need this guy. <laughs> bro, he can change this whole team around, bro. Just him alone. Oh, you know what I gotta do? They said, um, moving, moving all these people to the, where you put them kind of matter. They say they know where they be at on your draft board. So I'm gonna put him number one. And it looked accurate so far. The dude that's in the top of my draft board has the most um, interest towards my team. Okay, Fresno State, they're a good team. I think we, we had a decent game against them last year. Rice? That's, that's just crazy. 
Rice making it to the championship game is crazy. That's crazy. It's so unrealistic. Like, no, nothing in my mind can even imagine that. I'm from Houston, so it's like blowing my mind that Rice, the fucking, basically an Ivy League school. <laughs> no, I believe you. I definitely believe you, but it's just crazy. If you was to tell that to somebody in real life, like, yeah, Rice would make it to the championship game. People like, hell no, nah, boy, you crazy. Oh, yeah, last. Yeah, I remember. Fresno, we played them before. They were good. I, I'm not tripping. I want to switch my offense to a more run-based uh, play-action offense. Because, like I said, I got to have an offense that match up. We spread the ball out, but then we, we get under the line to scream. I mean, we get under the center to snap the ball for running plays. It's just like. And then when we in passing, it's clear shotgun. So it's like, yeah. Let's get our offense more well rounded as far as our play calling. Logan, Utah, on the banks of the Logan River. If we had a bunch of athletes, we could do it whatever we want. But with a team this sorry, you got to get your players open better. And the only way I can do that is with play calling, because they ain't gonna get better overnight. <laughs> We're in the midst of another wonderful Bro, it's like other, it's like otherworldly like another in another universe type shit. <laughs> like that's how unrealistic that is. Like maybe maybe in some other multiverse, but even then it'll be like Doctor Strange is like there's a billion and one chances and there's only one universe where Rice is a fucking championship team. <laughs> like things from his offense. The pregame routine's over, and we're ready for the coin toss. And that's actually amazing because Rice, they have a conference, and they technically be playing teams that, in a uh, non-conference games, be pretty decent teams that you would consider better than them. So the fact that they made it is like <laughs> full of 70 overall players is funny as hell. I got smacked. So now we'll get to see the offense come out of the field for their first drive of this game. Yeah, we moved up one ranking. Somebody must have lost. But we didn't deserve to move up more than that, if I'm being honest. Defense think it passed. Then you run the ball for a nice game. Play like shit. The Aggies line up with three wide. They motion to the left. The halfback with a carry. There's a stiff arm, and down he goes. Around the 36 yard line. Davenport gains seven yards on that play. Oh, nine times out of ten, too. Yeah, they definitely would be unranked. What's the defense is throwing at you? Davenport. Nine times out of ten. I I I can't I don't think Rice has ever been ranked in history. 60 overall, bro. That's how it be. NCAA makes some of the sorriest teams do some of the coldest shit, bro. And I love it because it makes it like, it makes it realistic. It's like, yeah, to a degree, it's like, oh, you took, you took, you thought we was playing? Nigga, you a munch. Like, that's how they be playing. He's on the run. On the run. Finds his back with some room to run. Short pass there, and they get a moderate gain. There's nothing wrong with nickel and diamond him down the field. It's a pretty nice little dump off there to the right side. They be playing inspirational football. They don't be playing off skill. They be playing off emotion and inspiration. They be motivated, boy. One running back in the backfield. Three wide. And the halfback ripped off a nice game. They always catch you off guard. You think you're going to smack them teams, bro. You think you're going to blow them out. Nope. You ain't for the best game of your life. And then you'll play a team like Oklahoma, and every time you play them, you beat them by 28. Every time I play Oklahoma in this game, I win by 28. Which, I mean, it's fair. They're not good. Oklahoma's never been like that since I've been alive. Oklahoma's never won a championship or even been close to winning a championship. But they'll be ranked great as fuck. Like, they were ranked number two last year. Oh, no, they was, I'm thinking about my other game. They ranked number two. Played them twice that year. Beat them both times. And both times they was ranked higher than me. And he 
I lied. The second time I was ranked, the second time we played, I was ranked number two. They was ranked number three. But I beat them like they was ranked number twenty. Looks ready to kick this one off. He kicks it. Like, I have no respect for Oklahoma. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Well, they're down a touchdown. Let's see how they. It be their defense, bro. Thank you, bro. I know I'm not tripping. No and they offense be good, but it's never good enough to keep up with how bad they defense be. Thank you, bro. You summed it up perfectly, bro. I be taxing them, bro. My run game be the best. I play like a D2 or D3 team, and I can't run against them. I play OU oh, every lane be open. <laughs> you, it, bro, you, the light bulb went off in my head when you said that. Fresno State comes out with three receivers in the shotgun. Here's the option left, and they'll bring him down behind the line. The defense just blew that one up in the backfield. Just nowhere to run on that play, Coach. The halfback. We have a field day against Oklahoma. From their own 23-yard line. Third down. And they have a good quarterback, but he's going to throw picks. He flares it to the left side. And we'll take a break while the injured player is attended to. Let it come down and make the hit, man. Way to come down and make a hit, man. So it's fourth down. The punt team is on the field looking to kick this one away. Davenport is back awaiting the punt. And this one is a beauty. Davenport takes it at the 23. Across midfield. Great stiff arm. Put that boy in the dirt. Every time I play them. It's a few schools like that too. Every time you play him, it's just like easy money. Alabama, for some reason, I don't know. They just never be as good as they are in real life. What I know, what I just noticed about this game. The trajectory of the ball is the same whether it's a, a a drill or a float over like the middle range, but it's a clear different reaction out of the defense. Last time I did that same play, I drilled it. And he he almost picked it, or he did pick it. That time I floated it. It looked like it was right over his head the same way. He put the whole shoulder down. Play by the offense as the halfback took it in for the school. Here's a play that was well designed and well executed. It can't get never, and they always lose. Like, if you if ever you want to schedule them in a season for like a good ranked game to kind of like put your team in good standings, you got to put them in the beginning of the year. I always try to rank, I always try to play on the first two games of the season because they always end up losing early in the season. They're setting up for the PA. It's rare that I see Alabama like. A top ten school, but <clears throat> oh no, Georgia ended up getting Bubba, Bobo, Bobo Country, the running back that I had made on this team. He was supposed to go to Alabama. I made him for Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Like he was from there. Big country white boy. You would think Alabama would have been able to recruit him. He went to Georgia. So I was like, shit. I was trying to do something to make Alabama. Like Alabama, like when you play them, it's a problem. But he ain't even want to go there. Lines up under center. Drops back to pass. Throws off his back foot. Ooh. And he's taken down at the 38. How about that? was a dot. No, Brad, the defense is coming. That was a dot. Blitz, and that opens some room for these guys to get open. Yeah, and if you're coming with the blitz, you better get to this quarterback. Otherwise, he'll make you pay. short it falls incomplete he was under some pressure there well sometimes as a quarterback you have so many things to worry about what's the coverage where's the pressure coming from and so on that you lose focus at times throwing a catchable ball here he just missed the target number 15 is under center single setback now make a tackle draw play he juked him out of his shoes number 33 picks up about seven yards there after getting the ball on the draw play
Bro, Ohio, for some reason, Ohio State never good on my game, bro. Oh, did we get him? Oh, we were so close. I had to chop him because I knew I wasn't going to make the tackle if I went up. Ohio State, I haven't. Bro, I've never played against Ohio State in the national championship game. Like, I don't know what it is, bro. It's like certain teams that you to, like always perceive to be pretty good. <laughs> Maybe on NCAA 14 for sure. I know they were good on NCAA 14 when I used to play it. But on these... Fresno State. I don't know. They get it out there on the top. He dances around, but they're still able to bring him down. They get maybe a yard on But yeah, I think Ohio State just wasn't as good as they were like in the modern day. Like in these games. Like Ohio State used to be good at one point, but I don't think they were good in this game on these times and these eras. And then like they got dominated again in the Oh, he took off. They got dominated again probably around 2013-ish, 2014, when they had, like, the dude named Miller. And then when they had, uh, obviously, um, the running back from the Cowboys. I forgot his name. Ever since then, they kind of been prominent again. And they're lining up for the PAT. And he adds the extra point. Ezekiel Elliott. That's when they won. That was the, that was the last time they won a championship, but they had kind of got good around that time again. Oregon, another team where it's like, man, bro, y'all y'all always be ranked somewhat good, and then you don't see them on here. But these are some of the older games. As long as they keep making big plays, they will continue to run over this defense. Fakes to the back. Wants to throw outside. And he can't hang on to the hit. Not much you can do there, Coach. Nope. Not much at all. It's not easy hanging on to the football when there's another guy coming at you. Those are going to be dropped. Oh, I know for a fact they're not. Boston College. Utah. What's some other team? Boise. What's some other schools? Yo, it looks like he's got a big old bag hanging over his belt right now. Troy. Drops back to pass. He rolls left. Rifles it left. Complete. And he's tackled right away. This is a simple case of finding the hole in the zone. The quarterback did a good job of recognizing the coverage and then found his man. Yep. Give the receiver some credit, too. He got open, then made a nice catch for the first down. A little juice. Six yards. That was almost a TD. Tell your kids that this is where they earn their stripes. And we've come to the end of the first quarter with the score. Utah State, 14. Fresno State, 7. Fresno State, 7. Instead of running right at him, you can run around him on this pitch play. Tosses it out. And mm. Right around the 26-yard line. He picks up about four yards on the top. Old oh, Dominion. Oh, yeah. And on NCAA 14, yeah. I know for a fact Old Dominion. I seen Old Dominion on other people games. Like when I watch other people play NCAA 14, I seen Old Dominion be good. I know that for a fact. They got two of them. He did not get the first down. They try to run on third down. And that's one of them teams like, huh? Oh, UCF. UCF be up there a lot of times. The quarterback is in the gun. He's got two tight ends in this set. I seen them numerous times. Pretty good game. More importantly, though, it's good for the first down. That's heartbreaking for a defense. They stopped him on the first three plays, but they just couldn't contain the pass on fourth down. They line up at the 20. What's some other teams, man? They line up in the red zone for the first time today. Breaks one. And he's tackled right around the 20. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. No gain on the play. So it's second and ten. Ball on the twenty yard. Louisville. That's kind of believable though. Like I can I can see Louisville being decent. Rutgers. Looking. He zips it. 
Got it to the senior. Big play, and it's first and goal. They've never been good in real life besides with Lamar Jackson. But even then, they lost like three games that's like on their best year. But um, <clears throat> yeah, I could, I could. It's more believable than Rice, though. Like, what the hell? But nah, I've I've never seen Louisville actually be decent in real life. That brings up second and goal. Cincinnati, I feel like too. I'd be seeing. I guess he was a corner. Me. It looked like the quarterback even saw the linebacker hanging in that area. If I seen him. I just right thought I had. A, I thought I had a window. First down, ten to go. Ball on the twenty-yard line. The Bulldogs come out with three wide receivers. A quarterback in the shotgun. Fresno State uses motion. Options. Where you going, big homie? Where you going? Nowhere to go. It's second down and twelve. Ball on the but yeah, I be wanting to see the good teams be good, like Florida State. You want to see some of them old powerhouses be good. God damn, he running through us. Idaho, that a piss me off, bro. Fucking potato patch kids, like that a piss me off, bro. They'll line up at the twenty-five. Idaho in the top 10 would piss me off, bro. But how, like, they would beat some decent teams to make it. Go get that tackle. Good tackle. Fourth down, coach. Yeah, they just didn't get enough yardage on that pass. I actually like the play call here by the offense, but the defense does a nice job of shutting it down that time. Great play recognition by the defense. But yeah, the um that bracket to eliminate all that. That bracket to eliminate teams making it to the top to the national championship game because those teams gonna get blown out in the first round if they make it. Yeah. Yeah. But Michigan be up and Michigan be inconsistent, man. Like every time they supposed to be good and have high expectations, they end up doing bad. Utah State. Like this is a good year for them for sure with Harbaugh and stuff. But it's been a few years where they were supposed to be like taken seriously and just like by the end of the year they fizzled out. I feel like them in Notre Dame, and I'm talking about in real life. Like you have a high host for them, and then when they come down to it, they end up just folding by the end of the year. Notre Dame did it all the way to the championship game and got their ass blown out by fucking Alabama. And ever since then, they've just been back to mediocre. They line up at the 43. Third down. Fresno State brings in their nickel package. Drops back to pass. He's looking. And now he's going to run. He's got an opening. And he dives forward. So they pick up a huge run on third down. That last play was a brilliant call. <clears throat> call, and you can see on that play that this offense is very well schooled. Everyone following their assignment. But uh, I made Peyton Manny on this game, like Peyton Manny Jr. He played for Michigan on this game. I tried to pitch it. <clears throat> They're gonna be good. They're gonna be good. So it's second and ten. Ball on the thirty-two. Davenport is the deep back as they line up in the eye. The Aggies. The, I didn't even get to play them. I didn't even get to play them. They made it to the national championship, and I got a hold and didn't make it. I was the number three team. So I had to play like in the orange ball or whatever it was that year. But the weirdest team I played. The Bulldogs. It's been so long, but I used to play all type of teams that was weird too. He's on the run. No one opens, so he's gonna run. He's got an opening. He's knocked out of bounds at the 18 yard line. Well, guys, he's scrambling. So yeah, I was just envious of Troy in the position that they was in for them to get blown out. That's no easy task either, coach. This guy has I'm going to check the ratings after this game and see what are there any ugly teams in positions they shouldn't be in. 
All right, we got to run this ball better. We are folding right now. We did way better in the first quarter. Second down. The Aggies come out with the offset eye. Missed tackle. They'll bring him down at the five. There's a player shaking up on the play. You just got to make sure. That's what I mean. Positive yardage on a run because you're almost there. Number five comes to the line under seven. Man, we already got 100 yards in the first quarter. They'll go with a run once again. Touchdown, Aggie. He met me in a hole, but it, he needed some help. He needs some help. This kid's been in the end zone every single week. And then <clears throat> we almost won the Heisman last year. I think we ended up losing. Or did No, Bailey won the Heisman. And now we're gonna take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. I don't remember, bro. It's been so long since I played the last game. Number five has the ball set and he looks ready to kick this one deep. Kicks it away. Akron in the Rose Bowl. What? What? <laughs> That's worse than Rice. Like, Akron? First down, 10 to go. Single set backfield. Bro, you got to adjust your... Uh, Adjust, you got to adjust your uh, conferences, man. Because that's some hoe-ass shit. It's not even fun. Like, you go through uh, your whole season playing against teams that good, bad. But, like, you will have some good games. But they'll be bad for your conference. You know what I mean? But Akron's bad for just, like, NCAA in, peer in general. So, it's like, it's a whole different, like, it's like underwhelming, like anticlimactic. It's like, oh, this is such an easy ball game, dub. Like, I'd be wanting my best game of the year to be my ball game. And it'd be like, best game of the year was probably like, for this year, I probably don't get a better game than the Oklahoma game. Like, I don't know, national championship probably be lit. And this Boise game going to be very challenging that's coming up next week. This Boise game going to be very challenging. Folks, let's pause now as we but outside of that, <coughs> our score at halftime, the Aggies 21, the Bulldogs. Seven, seven, oh no! For some reason, ball games always get a blowout. Like I'm almost damn near undefeated in ball games. I can't think of a. I can't think of the last time I lost a ball game. Number six from the three. Or a national championship game, really. I'll be playing. The offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll get the ball here. I say national championship. I keep saying national championship. Conference uh, championship. He's looking to pass. Looks. Oh. This one is incomplete. He threw it back shoulder. I was ready to pick that. This receiver is fast, but not that fast. It's second down and ten to go. Ball on the thirty-one. Number thirty-three lines up as a single back. Way to get in that backfield. See how we playing. You see how we handling this team so far? This how it should have been the whole time against. I mean, to <coughs> UAB. I've seen them be good. That's ridiculous, though. Damn, back shoulder throw. This how it should have been against San Jose, but I technically didn't play defense, so that was a part of it, too. My computer defense is ass. First down, Damn, I ain't getting no blocks. Ball on the 46-yard line. Fresno State comes out with three receivers. In the do I want to just do one block? I mean, I technically probably could get another one. Akron 63 overall. That's what I'm saying. It's like you could play sorry teams in your conference. For instance, like I play in the Big 12 a lot. Kansas or like TCU. Like they may suck. Depending on what season you playing, but they'll still be ranked like an 85 overall or something like that. Versus like these fucking teams. Hold on, I gotta go rest real quick. I call this one the scooter special. Try it right now.
This defense faces another third down. Number 33 lines up in the deep back. Eye formation. Junior makes the catch. Tackle at the 23. Oh, boy. That is a nice play on third down. The quarterback found his receiver, and they connected on a big play. Big? <coughs> That's a big save, Kurt. This completion keeps the kick team off the field and gives them a new set of doubt. First down, 10 yards to go. I miss some Halloween candy. Fresno State sets up in the eye. Number six is the man in motion. Again with a carry. Mm -hmm. And he hits him hard. And mm -hmm. a four yard gain by the back. I call this one the Scooter Special. Try it right now. Expect the defense to turn it up a notch here in the red zone. Yeah, they draw the hell out of this ball while I was going. Single back backfield. That boy big. Touchdown, Bulldog. And did that play ever develop nicely? Well, it's all that boy big. I take it to the ground on this one. You got to be able to run to win ball games. for the halfback. Mm. I love a good draw play. You got the defense thinking pass, then you run the ball for a nice game. Number five lines up in the gun. He's got two tight ends in the set. Looks to pass. Caught. Brought down at the 26. And a good call that time. Yeah, and in my opinion, it's plays like this that can have a lot of success against this defense. Third and two coming up here. Number five lines up zone. under center. I formation behind him. And he'll try to get the first through the air. He was no open. I don't trust him. Run. Run. And he's finally out of bounds. He was wide open, but I don't trust him. Guys, he showed his athletic ability on that one. There you see the things we've been talking about all week, which is the athleticism, the ability to improvise, and the big play capability all in one play. What a spectacular run. And yeah, don't forget the important thing. Heart. This kid is more hard. Why free candy tastes better than candy you buy? They line up at the 48. Second down. Number five is back in the gun. Back to pass. Looking. Dumps it left side. Great one. He's tackled at the 37. They got a few yards on that pass. Yeah, we talked about how the run will open up the passing game, but some teams like to use their intermediate passing game to open up the run. Either way you look at it, it's good balance. The defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. Jake's off a tackle. They can't hang on to it. Again, they're able to move the sticks on third down. You gotta win all your games. <clears throat> That's what makes it impossible. Losing one game is just like you almost guaranteed to be out of it. And if you lose two, you can hang up your national championship hopes. And it's intercepted. He got a better pass. What a catch. I'm surprised he was able to hang on to that one. People tend to he got to lead him, bro. He wide in front of him. Wide open in front of him. I don't think I had enough time to float it. That's why I tried to drill it. Maybe I should have led it a little better. Some guys play receiver instead of corner because they don't want to hit or tackle anybody. The Bulldogs use motion. Under pressure. Oh, I was right there. The oh, they almost gave it back to me. I was sitting on that. Perfect, bro. Number 15 lines up under center. Number 15 sends one of his guys in motion. On play action. Nobody did. Oh, my God. Breaks one. To the 20. He's all the way. Touchdown. 
We got a ball game, folks. We got a ball game, folks. Ball is right there. To the middle of the field, and the defense just wasn't able twice. The extra point to tie this game up. I was right there twice. That score leads us to our Pontiac drive summary. Fresno State. We got a ball game, folks. He kicks it off. That's crazy. It's fielded at the two. Made at the 28 yard line. The quarterback threw an interception on their last drive. Let's see if they can be more successful here. They'll start at the 28. First down, 10 to go. Number five is they seven. never do one in the backfield. They got to be hella far away from it. Anything that's out of 40 yards is easy money. At the 35. That'll be a seven yard pickup. Seven yard gain. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Utah State lines up in a double tight set. He drops back. He's rolling right. He scrambles. Chucks it deep down the right side. I did it's not. Played. I it's guess not my button a little jam, but I tried to slow it. Getting a hand on the football that time. And if you notice also, he did an excellent job of playing the ball and not interfering on that play. The Aggies come out with three wide receivers. The quarterback in the shotgun. Looking to throw. Short pass, right side. Tackle. 14 you're running slow like a, a tight end. I swear I thought that was a tight end. Nah, they'd be locked in from anything close to uh, 40. Anything inside the 40, they'd be locked in. He gets another carry. Big opening. Bye bye. At the 19 yard line. What a great run for a huge gain and a first down. I can't say enough good things about this guy. He's been making runs like this throughout his entire college career. I don't know anyone that doesn't think he's one of the top three running backs in college football, Turkey. And I have him right on the top. This kid is... Run him over. Run him over. At the 11. So we played three quarters of football. Make a statement, man. We're in a deadlock. This play should this two weeks in a row where our offense just got stale second half. Ten yards away from a score. The Aggies got to get rid of them picks and turnovers, man. They're going to pitch it. A little juke. I tried to juke him. At the 13 yard line. He wrapped up, I tell you, boy. He wrapped up. How about that for some run support? Well, when you've got a guy that can cover receivers and come in and make big hits. I took stamina off, bro. you got a special cornerback. This guy can cover like a corner and hit like a safety. I took stamina off. That was a pretty good run. Because I, I, well, I took it off because my dudes play multiple positions and they would be on the field half the time. So it's just like. But maybe if I wasn't playing both sides, but even then it's like <clears throat> it'd be a little annoying. Make the move. He couldn't shake that tackle. Not much. Like you can't have your players on kickoff return because you already know they're gonna get tired. It's second down. They've got their goal line sets on the field. This might be a good time for play action. A little shake and bake move. Touchdown, Aggies. Not much trouble getting in on that one. Yeah, the running back just ran right through the opening, almost like a. Experienced coach would want to run. We gotta stop that passing game. Go to work at the 29-yard line. First and ten. The Bulldogs line up with an offset eye backfield. They give to the tailback. Gets out to about the 31. That'll be a two-yard gain. Why the ball with that candy? And go out there and hit somebody. Utah State brings in the nickel here. Five DBs on the field. He's looking. They can't connect. Incomplete. Number 33 was the intended target on the play. That'll make it third down. Field goal block. Well, at least on this game. Call this one the scooter special. Try it right now. I'm taking field goal block. I really get those. I can get a kick return if the blocks get set up right. This nigga here, bro. 
the 10. Touchdown. The wide receiver. He's killing us. He better go D1. I think this he a sophomore. Let me see. I'm about to look him up. He was a freshman last year, and I think he did the same thing to us. If he a sophomore, he was a freshman last year and did the same thing to us. I swear to God. No, he's a junior. Okay. How many years have I played this? The extra point to tie this. I don't game. think it was him. I don't think. It was. But we gonna remember him next year if he's still on that team. He the truth. He's killing us right now. Guys, what are you thinking at this point in the game? This offense needs to stick to the basics. They just lost their lead, but there's no reason to panic because this is a tie ball game. And really, the question now is who will crack under the pressure? This is when the cream rises to the top. Good teams win close ball games. And down he goes. Around the 30 Chicken sandwich. That run picks up a yard, maybe less. They line up at the 32. Second down. Number five is under center. Fakes to the back. Looking. He throws it out to the flat. He's taken down. At about the 43. I'm going to get their first down. What happened there, guys? Well, they were in man to man. It's impossible down there. tell if the defender slipped or he just got beat on that play. I know people that get block punt, I mean, block field goals on uh, Madden, but they be doing cheesy stuff. They hand it off. Makes a move. He jukes. Woo! I was so close to ripping that one. We see him run that play in practice this week a thousand times, and it was just as successful then as it is right now. First down, ten yards to go. Number five is lined up under center. Again with the run. Tackle made at the 41-yard line. Four yards gain. It's just a matter of pitch and catch. So go get it done. What'd you feel easier, a Hail Mary the Aggies or the a kickoff game. return touchdown? Look at the throw. Steps up. He's in trouble. He threw it right fucking to him. Junior safety. He turns it upfield. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. He was the last line of defense. What a crucial interception, and that'll Fuck, you threw a right to him, bro. Like, I was just trying to... I should have back shot to it. I should have back shot to it. I shouldn't have let him. They be making him throw like he ass, bro. Make up for it, man. You got to make up for it. Hail Mary. Hail Mary's be hard as hell. I recommend for the offensive coordinator a little play action and throw the fade route. I ain't talking about just a vertical where the dude just blow on, blow bomb on the. Oh my God, this dude's killing me! I tried to go to him, but I overshot it. Great job up front here, allowing the quarterback enough time to look downfield and spot the open man. Yeah, but don't forget to play that receiver that time. He made some really nice moves. Feeds it to the back, tackled for a loss. Yeah, we got to get a field goal or a turnover right here. Field goal or a turnover right here. Kirk Kelly's a big pull out there. But on plays when they run the ball, it works. The backfield's in an offset eye formation. The halfback with a carry. Get that boy. Wrestle him down in the backfield. A loss on that one as he couldn't get past those big linemen. Damn, for real? I don't know. I'm just not good at the hall. I never get him. They line up at the 14. Third down. The Bulldog. I get one where I could get a vertical, like just straight beat them, one on one or something like that. But. They'll be stopped before they reach the first down marker. Now that is a real hard go defense. Way to bring up fourth down, guys. This should be an easy field goal. This kick will be about a 28 or 29 yarder, and it's through the uprights. Wouldn't even worry about that. We already said we know he gonna make that. Wow, is an understatement. Ain't no way I'm losing my fucking field goal. From start to finish, coach. It's a shame that one of these teams has They may not kick it to uh, Bailey. Fresno State to kick this one off. Kicks it off. He'll return it from the six. He 
He running angry. He running angry. He running angry. They threw a pick the last time out. Should be interesting to Bro, see if I lose this, I'm gonna be like fucking. <laughs> it's now making I'm gonna be very upset, I'll tell you that much. They can make up the deficit right here. The offense lines this one up in the shotgun. Three wide receivers in the formation. Number five doesn't like what he sees. He looks to throw on first down. Short pass to the left. And here's a juke. Couldn't shake three from a nice tackle there. How about that play? Well, it was a good pass, a good catch, and they are keeping the defense off balance by throwing on first down. Absolutely right. First and ten. Ball on the 43. Number five with three wide receivers. First down. Look at the throw. He unloads it. And it's caught. A little juke. Gets past the tackler. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 32. The screen play worked that time for a decent pickup. Yep, you're right. Excellent call to go to the screen to maybe slow down this defensive pass rush a little bit. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 32. The Aggies line up in the shotgun. Five wide receivers are split out. Lucky, lucky. Ready, lucky. Drops back to pass. Looking. We ain't playing with them. I had to move it, boy, the receiver. But like, bro, they stopped playing with these men. They had a linebacker on him. My only concern is we might have scored too fucking fast. The field and put one in the end zone? Well, it's possible, but they're going to have to run one of the best two-minute offenses. Well, I seen a good matchup. He was in that slot position. I looked out there. That's the matchup we need. Utah State changing their play. He drops back. He stepped up. Looking. Throws. There's a miss. He's got the two. So with less than a minute to go in the fourth quarter, the score is Utah State. 36. <sighs> we got to lock up, bro. We got to lock up, bro. They got him on kick return, too. That's a big dude, bro. And the thing about the bigger receivers, when you try to go up against them, if you play it wrong, you'll get pass interference. So I'd be, like, hesitating. It's like, it's like. They be like big tight ends, bro. They basically can box you out easy. But we're not running zone against them no more. And I'm watching him the whole time. Gang time. Gang time. Gang time. Gang time. Get him out of here. He threw it to the wrong side. I mean, the other side was locked up, too. Let's go. First and ten. Ball on the 29 yard line. Utah State comes out with three receivers in the shotgun. Here's the option. There he goes. He's all the way home. Touchdown. There it is. An all American quarterback plus an open field equals touchdown. And you know what? Yeah, they weren't ready for that. That's the first. That's like the second time. That's the, actually the first time I ran the quarterback and he pulled it. I ran the play earlier, but I gave it. Oh no, I kept it too. I kept it too. I never mind. I'm but it's perfect. Running the ball a lot. They expecting him to get it. Deuces. All right, man. We dubbed them boys. We'll simulate the rest of this because we got a big one next week, baby. We got a big one. We got a big one next week, baby. Why teams be scoring, bro? The the game, bro. Oh, I lost that big credit. That would have been sad. Bro. Fresno State, thirty-eight. That would have been sad. From all of us here at EA Sports, it's been a Pretty pleasure. Sure. Before it's too late. It's too late to remember
Oklahoma B, Texas. That's fun. I like playing as a cornerback. Especially when you know how to bait the uh bait the quarterback to throw it your way. You just can't get beat. Alright, let's see what sorry teams are at the top of the ranks. Besides me. <laughs> no, no, we're we're pretty good. The weirdest team so far is Hawaii, maybe. But being in 19 is not bad. So we lost one game. We will have Michigan will have to lose. And I don't see them losing to anybody. Oh, they got Penn State and Ohio State. Oh, look, Ohio State good on here. Okay, maybe I just never noticed. Where's Virginia? It's a lot of it's a lot of football left. Who they got? They got Louisville. Hopefully Louisville can beat them. So they can fall back a little bit. Yeah, rankings look pretty good, man. Florida State. They play Notre Dame. Okay, they're gonna probably lose before the end of this season. Florida, Notre Dame, Clemson, Maryland, five and two. So And they got Miami, that's five and one. Unranked. LSU, they got Florida, they got Arbor, and they got Alabama. It's a good chance I can make it to the national championship game. A lot of these teams got a hard schedule. Nebraska going to be tough because they only really got one team to play. Oh, but then they got to play a national championship game. This how I be looking at it. Yeah, besides Hawaii, they got a hard schedule. They got two teams to play. They got Arizona undefeated, Oregon State 3-1. Stanford three and two, so they got a decent schedule to play against. Michigan on their team, so they probably lose to Michigan. I feel like Michigan gonna be the only team going undefeated. We already seen Florida. Florida probably lose a game. Texas, they just lost to Oklahoma, and they still got Missouri five and one. Oklahoma State four and two. Tennessee and A and M. So Texas probably end up losing at least one more game. We may make it to the national championship if we can beat Boise, bro. We gotta be able to beat Boise, though. Heisman race. Oh yeah, my boy. Are they both up there? They both up there again. Booby up there now. Where Payton Manny at? Okay. All right. One thing I want to check. Recruiting. Let's see, I want to see where these other dudes are going. Like the other top recruits that I'm not looking at. Tom Brady Jr. Oh, oh, oh. Any one of them teams would be nice because it's like, it'd be nice to go to Tennessee because they already good on this game. FSU, he'll make them good. Virginia Tech, he'll make them good. Jay Hunt, he may go to West Virginia. The Bucks. Who the Bucks? Ohio State? No. Who the fuck is at the who the fuck is the Bucks? I cannot think of who the Bucks is. Ohio State. Buckeyes. Okay, okay. See if he go to Ohio State, their defense is gonna be solidified. Florida may get a, a number one quarterback. Look at this running back. Seven foot four hundred pounds. He might go to Ohio, I mean, Oklahoma. One of the Oklahoma schools. Another seven foot D tackle, USC or AM. Okay, 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 okay. All right, do I got any recruiting I need to do? Yeah. You playing UIM, bro? That's ridiculous, bro. Who, who your team? Who you playing with? Come on, Martinez, bro. I need you. I need my coach to really will this in, bro. I need us to really will this in, bro. Damn. Um, hold on. I can't 
can't even talk to him no more. I'm called prospect. We already talked. Why we don't have more stuff on lots? Are we a championship contender? I don't know. Where is he from? He's not, so I can't use proximity in a home. Apparently playing time, I know that works. USC. Okay, okay, okay. Why well, y'all rank 19 and y'all 5 and 0? Oh. That's a good ranking. I mean that's a good uh that's a good record. Oh Boise Fuck Boise Who they lost to man They making it tremendously hard on me bro Y'all should be ranked higher than that though USC a powerhouse man Y'all should be ranked top 10. 5-0 at USC? BCS should be loving y'all right now. We moved up another one. Let's go. One, one. Hey, if we do this, how many games we got left? Five more games? If we can do this every game, we'll be all right. Fuck, oh, boys. Who did y'all lose to, man? Oh, we still got Hawaii. Man, bro, they made it way harder to get there. If we would have we would have jumped up after we beat them. Oh, at least they four and two now though. What did y'all lose to? Okay, they got both of them. They both of them picked me. Real, real. They know what's up. Oh, they lost to Hawaii by one point in Auburn. Oh, that's that's respectable. They lost to they lost to two ranked teams. So we gotta beat them. We gotta beat them. We can't beat a team that they beat. Sounds like coaching, my boy. Now I'm playing. <laughs> I'm playing. That's how I be feeling, bro. I'm like, bro, we should be beating this team, bro. I got to blame myself. But I ain't going to lie. Players get the fumbling. Players get the throwing bad passes they normally don't throw. It's like, what are y'all doing, bro? Y'all playing too comfortable. We at Boise, too. We got a ball. Seventeen to four. I'll be so pissed. That's that's the San Jose. That's how I was in San Jose. It's a picture perfect day. It's like you know you're gonna win the game, but it's like why are y'all trying so hard, bro? Like what are y'all doing? They be trying hard against you, bro. It's like if y'all have put this effort in y'all whole season, bro, y'all be <laughs> ranked way better than this. See a linebacker that can do the things that this young man can do. If you don't know him yet, you soon will. So the I might need to get my boy number 19 a name. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You playing my player, so that's that's oh, that's frustrating as hell. No, that's frustrating. If you playing uh Road to glory, that's frustrating. You're not even using the whole team. Oh, yeah, y'all should be killing them right now. Especially on offense. Now we'll get to see how this quarterback can do today as he comes out onto the field for the first time. Damn, this hoes ugly. I'd keep it on a ground with an option here. I'd let my quarterback make the decision to keep it or pitch it. A 
give it off here. Tackle made. We'll take right it. Around to 34. Easy five, five yards. Five yard gain on the play. It's second down and five to go. Ball on the 34. They come out with three wide receivers. Three wide receivers on the field. The quarterback. You have a thousand shot. rushing, a thousand receiving if I let it happen. Ooh. They'll knock him down for a loss. A great he barely got off his block. And let me tell you, the key to that play was right there in the defensive line. They tied this offensive line up and allowed their linebackers to come up and make a big play. Lee, I agree with you. We always talk about the linebackers and safeties, but credit the big guys up front for that. Uh. So the defense gets him to go three and out. Good Decent defense, defense right there. <laughs> Turn it. He punts it. He drops it. He let that one get away from him. And Brad, any time a player yeah, man, that catch, that's my, that's my star, star tight end, man. Forget about it and move on. The main thing is they got the ball back, and now they can go to work on offense. They'll start this drive at the 20. First down, 10 to go. Mm. He drops back, and he's tackled. Right over my head. What a play. What a play. I don't know where the uh, safety hill was at because I was playing. I was playing. Uh, not only as a blocker, same zone I'm running now. Well. Nice catch. They line up at the 47. First down. Little handoff. The QB? Makes it out to maybe the 49. Who the hell is he? Number 41. Comes away they be making the buzz like Tim Tebow. And it's like once they get one run, they be like, oh, I can run against y'all. And they start running like back to back plays. Like they don't even look to pass the ball no more. Man in motion. Let that QB run one time. He gets it going crazy. He makes it out to midfield. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. I call this one. We can't have another three and out once we get this ball back. We're about to get off the field right now. Is going with the offset eye backfield. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. And they got some great defense. Yeah, and what that does is mess up the timing of the offense, causing the incompletion. Put that pressure on that boy. Boise State, ready to punt this one away. Davenport, the return man. Number two, punts it. And he really got a leg into this one. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. Am I really with Boise State? Right. The again. They were forced to punt their last time out. They'll start this drive at the 20. First down, 10 yards to go. Number five is lined up under center. That's cheese. Hands it off. Makes another miss. There's a player down. I'm not sure what happened. Had to get away from that DN. He was too close. On the ground and make something happen. Utah State is going with the offset eye back to you. The Aggies. When the quarterback do that on that. Uh... Oh, he got so skinny, bro. Picked up big yards there, and he's going to have a first down. Yeah, nice job there. This guy does a good job in reading his blocks and accelerating through the holes. From their own 38-yard line, it's first down. Number five comes up to the line with three receivers split out wide. They'll give it off here. We getting five yards plus a carry. We'll take it. on the ground, and the halfback gets about seven yards. All right, let's hit him on the play action. From their own 45-yard line, it's second down. Utah State lines up in the offset eye. On play action, moves up in the pocket. It's complete. They'll bring him down at the 42-yard line. That was a laser, Kirk. This guy has a huge arm. It's like he's throwing darts, but it's coming at about 86 miles an hour. From the 42-yard line, it's first down. Number five is back in the gun. <laughs> the screen pass can be very annoying. He's wrapped up for the sack. And that'll get this defense fired up. The offensive lineman had his feet too close together. As an offensive lineman, you got to spread your feet and have a nice base. They line up at the 47. Second down. Number five is in the gun. Three wide screen pass would be annoying, especially when they it worked, because that means they got it blocked up perfectly. Looking, feeling the pressure, and it's caught. He's tackled around the 49 yard line. That was the hardest three yards ever. Gains four yards on that reception. That sack got us out of position. Uh oh, let me slide again. From the 49 yard line, 
It's third down. And Losing. Is Number five. That's Second embarrassing. Oh, like, they be pissing you. I know they pissing you off right now. And he's tackled at the 36. Solid gain, guys, but short of the first down. Yeah, that was a nice gain. Although it didn't get him the first down, it gives him a little bit more. I bet you, like, why did I come here? <laughs> I could have went to really was a good hole. whoever the top school is in the nation. They keep the offense in front of the first down marker. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. The Aggies come out in the shotgun. Three receivers. Wide. Easy. There are flags all over. Okay, okay, okay. Here's the call from the head referee. That's the thing, bro. You cannot control it. That is frustrating for a defense when you think you've made a stop and then a flag gives them a first down. Whoa, the coach is not okay. happy with that call. I don't know if he's more mad at his players. I wish they let you play both sides of the ball. Like a couple plays. Cuts it up field. Can't wrap him up. And they make the stop at the 25. The running back gives him six on the ground. I'd send the back off tackle. Maybe he can make a play. That's a good ass game against the sorry ass team. Number five is under center. Single set backfield. You'll get the call again. Damn, bro, I ain't had nobody help. And that was a good stop by the defense. They got him in the backfield. That's a great example of quickness by the defensive line. It allows you to break away from those blockers before they have a chance of moving you away from the play. Utah State lines up in a shotgun set. We got to get in this end zone. God damn, that's a good ass game. There's not a whole lot of quarterbacks out there that can make this throw. He delivers this one right where it has to be. Great arm strength. They find themselves in the red zone for the first time today. He may have changed things up here. There's the end zone. <coughs> We gotta make that throw, big dog. That'll bring up second down. Second down. They'll line it up at the nine. The Aggies come out with a single back formation. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. And this one. Oh, you gotta make that catch, big dog. Was the intended receiver on the play. That'll make it third down. So the offense will look to the end zone here. It's third. Oh, you getting them? You. Number five. I mean, yeah, you gotta play eight minutes for them. Uh, for Raw to Glory to feel better. You get more plays. Good protection. He passes it. Touchdown, Aggies. And it's good for six. Usually in this area, defenders are all bunched up, and it's hard to find an open receiver. This quarterback did an outstanding job. We had to get in that end zone. That was too good of a drive. Not to capitalize. Wanna be the crowd, wanna be the crowd, wanna be the crowd. Uh 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 backfields in an offset eye formation. Oh, good move. Bounce it off the would be tackler. The halfback runs for four yards. After a quarter of play, our score is the Aggies. What I like to do when I get the lead, bro, I like to send that blitz, man. Nothing. Stop putting that pressure on them boys. As soon as I get the lead, we start putting pressure on them boys. I ain't playing with them. Boise State uses motion. They'll go with the run once again. And down he goes at the 41. Just a simple draw play there, but picked up some big yards. They had a fool there because there were holes everywhere in the defense on that play. It's first and ten. Ball Damn, the ass hurt this season. I need to go to the I want my chub back. Number three. Calls for motion left. You'll get it again. And they'll bring him down behind the line. Where in the world was he going on that run? Well, that's a good question. I thought for a while he got his directions messed up. Second and long. Do you be, do, do you got Madden 14? Number three. Give the shotgun. I'll get Madden 14 so I can transfer my role to glory players. Come down, bro. It's so stupid. Like, why Why hover over the dude so the quarterback can make an easy throw, bro? Like, he's clearly in your zone. When you practice hard all week long, practice makes perfect, my friend. And that was as close to perfect as you will get. 
He makes the hmm. PAT. That's just, that's why I like running man to man. Kick this one away. Number five and Davenport back deep to return. He kicks it off. Davenport. Do Madden 15 let you transfer a to glory? Uh oh, we gone. Uh oh, we gone. Uh oh, we gone. Uh oh, we gone. Inside the 30 to the 10. He returns it all the way to score. That was a big time return. Make one man miss, it's over. Mm -hmm. Put him on the ground. It's a track. This is a track beat after that. So they're ready for the extra point. Utah State up six. Kicks away, and he hits the PAT. And now we'll take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. Number five, get set to kick this one away. He hits a boom. That's what, that's how it's supposed to be. I had to get some defensive stops. That's all. Get some stops. Offense got some confidence, got their momentum, got some rhythm. Trying to put them boys away now. On their way to that touchdown. Two tight end set. Setting up play action. Has some daylight. Ooh. Bro, they, they always get the ball back, bro. They always get the ball back, bro. It's so annoying. Backfield in an offset eye formation. Hands it off. Nice tackle to bring him down before he got back to the line of scrimmage. Solid effort there to break up that play. Read the hell out of that one. Favorite plays in the playbook. The defense calls an audible. Three wide receivers on the field. The quarterback in the shotgun. The offense lines this one up in the shotgun. Three wide receivers. Oh, that's my boy. That's my boy. He had a pick six last year. He just looked like he was in the right place at the right time. Yep. Great play by the linebacker to read that pass and come away with the interception. Right man, the man Great looked play. different in that zone. Ball in the 29. It's the tailback. Mm. He's taken down at the 28-yard line. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. Well, you know this guy has to protect himself. You're not kidding. He got walloped on that play. They like to run this fast-paced kind of offense. Yeah, and sometimes you get the defense to panic and waste the timeout. The Aggies take a timeout, and that was their first timeout. Number five lines up under center. There's the play fake. He's going to try and scramble, and it's caught. Shakes off a tackle, and they push him out around the 24-yard line. That little play action good for about four yards. Good job by the quarterback to put the ball right in the hands of the big tight end. It's third and five. Ball on the 24. The Aggies come out with three wide receivers. The quarterback in the shotgun. Drops back to pass. Oh, what a catch. Way to make up for that drop earlier, buddy. The quarterback just rifled that one in there for a good game. I had to. I had to. Hey, if he's not careful, he's going to break his receiver's fingers. I had to put it on him. The lone back. That was not what I was trying to do. Calling an audible. I guess to the work. Good idea giving it to the halfback near the end zone. Why would you give it to this guy? He told me before the game, if he gets the ball inside the 10, you can five-star lock it. He's going to score. This feel good. This feel good. We got to keep this going into the second half, though. As you know how we get. Let's get back in that man coverage, man. We've been locking up. The Broncos line up in the shotgun. Four wide receivers are split out. We there. Tackle made at 
Good overfield tackle. Gets maybe two yards. Yards are hard to come by on that play. You're not going to be able to get by a sure tackler like this linebacker too often. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on their own 18. Dusty bunch. He's looking to pass. Makes a move. He's pushed out of bounds. At the 18-yard line, nothing gained no on the play. On the That'll play. bring up third down. Here's third and eight. Ball on the 18. <laughs> the Broncos come out in a two-time. UIL Monroe, huh? The lone back looking to throw. Ugh. Just shoves aside the defender. Nice tackle made there to bring him down. I'll tell you, this receiver showed really good hands on that play. This kid is always calling for the ball. And if he keeps making plays like that, he'll continue to get the ball. They'll throw on first down. He throws left. Yes, go. Way to step up. To that man to man, he played it way tighter. <laughs> Again, it's the defense that comes up big with their second interception. We just had to make that adjustment. Defense must have seen something in the game field. Because they're all over those passing plays. Credit most of that to the speed of this defense. They do an amazing job of getting to the football. Utah State is going with the offset eye backfield. The Aggies come out with the offset eye. Surveys the field. And now he's going to improvise. Here he goes. Number 51. Makes well, they three. didn't get the first down, but it was still a pretty good run by the quarterback. He made a good decision to take off there. Hey, some quarterbacks would have tried to throw the football into coverage, but he did the right thing. Touchdown. It. It's second down, and this offense is about three feet away from the first down mark. Here's the half. Oh, my goodness. We got it. I mean, he attacked it. He attacked it how he's supposed to. This is textbook. This is how you're supposed to. He didn't wait on it. If he would have waited, I would have broken. The defense got him to go backwards. Utah State comes out with three receivers and a single back formation. He'll give it off here. And down he goes at the 13-yard line. And he gets the first down. That guy just went pow and took it in. He wasn't stopping until he got that first and 10. First down. They'll line it up at the 12. Number five comes to the line with three Third time the charm. Nice play fake. He's to the end zone. Ugh. He's in. Touchdown, Aggies. That was a well drawn up play for the wideout. I can't see it. It was close. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. That was a very good nice nice challenge. By the receiver. He made one cut on the oh, ball. Oh, he did And that was it. He caught a beautiful ball and he got his team six points. This is a big review right here. Was it an incompletion or a touchdown? In the end zone, all you need is possession of the ball and one foot down. Then you have yourself a touchdown, my friend. The coach is really irate, but this one is overturned. No touchdown. Well, no wonder he's mad. They just took a touchdown off the board. But this was the right call because we all saw that he did not get a foot in the back of the end zone. It's second down, about 12 yards out. So he throws it right at the safety there. Yeah, he was lucky that one wasn't kicked off. Excellent job by the defender that time preventing a score. You like a disappointed coach on the, on the sideline. Come on, offense. In the gun. He drops back. Pressure coming. Throws. That close to being intercepted. Almost intercepted in the end zone. And you can see he made a great move here, anticipating the football and came up with a big defensive play. Yep. What I like is he didn't get called for pass interference in that play. And it's right down the middle. And here's the Pontiac drive. It's over now, though. What, what quarter is it? It got to be over. Oh, snap. I ain't mean to do that. A -A we might as well just simulate the rest of this game. Well, at least a quarter. <clears throat> Dang, they scored. All right. As a coach, you got to be concerned with what the defense is throwing at you. I tell my quarterback to take what the defense is giving you. He's gobbled up in the backfield. This is a fast game. Linebacker shedding a block and getting into the two point game. Yep, the offense is a two uh, score game. Out to drive there. 
Without better protection, he won't be able to go anywhere. So it's second and 10. Ball on their own 23. Utah State comes out with three receivers in the shotgun. Looks to pass. Yo, guys, that was a very dangerous pass. His quarterback better be careful. He has a tendency to force some passes, and he really forced that one. What I do is throw it right here. You got to give your players a chance to make the play and make the first down. Third down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 23-yard line. The Broncos will defend with a nickel. He's looking to pass. He unloads it. Complete. Tackle made around the 38-yard line. He this ran a clean route, and, and the quarterback got it to got him with a good pass. To First down. Back. And the receiver was able to shake off all the defenders. No way, what, what happened? That really made it easy for the quarterback. Well, I'm telling you, they, they came back. They'll bring him down at the 42. The halfback runs for four yards. I'd run it down their throats here. Nothing too special. Number five lines up under center. One in the backfield. Number five is lined up under center. Utah Michael State Michael playing tight using an audible. He drops back. He scrambles. Looks. Dumps it right. Incomplete pass. Harris was the intended receiver on the play. Coach got to call better plays. They'll line it up again on third down. You gotta get mad at Coach on that one. Give me some help, bro. We need that uh, QB spot. Rifles this one out to the left. It's broken up. Great play by the defender. Oh, yeah, he got his hand in there, broke up the pass, and that brings up fourth down. This is a solid defense. Try it out. That's crazy. They have the whole field to work with as they start this drive inside their own five-yard line. That's crazy. Is under center. They'll run the option. They bring him down in the backfield. This safety does everything you ask of him. He can come up and play the run or drop deep into his zone and stop the pass. And right there, I think he was looking for the run the whole way because he got in the backfield in a hurry. The Broncos line up in an eye formation. Up the middle of the fullback. The fullback gains about four yards there. They ain't getting no run game. We've been able to keep that offense in check. Better to stop the run against a lot of teams we played against. <coughs> it's really just the big plays. Utah State trying to call an audible on defense. The Broncos come out with four wide receivers. The quarterback's in the shot. Now we there. Back to pass. They knock it down. Incomplete. That's some tough defense right there. That ball had no shot at being caught. Good luck, man. It had a shot at being caught, all right. Huh? What are you talking they should about? score. Let me finish. It had a shot at being caught by the defensive back. Oh, okay. Defensive back. That makes more sense. <laughs> they throw a flag. Davenport takes it at the 49. To the 20. Sheds that one. Flag down. And I'm not sure when it was thrown. Let's find out. That one will put the offense in a hole, and they'll try to get some clipping. Damn, this thing will fly. What this fly? Where did the fly come Ball from? On the 26 bro. yard line. Utah State comes out with an eye formation. Number five lines up under center. Davenport takes it up the middle. And he mm. tackled right around the 20. They got good run defense. They're not letting us get a good one off. We've got a second and five. Oh, boy. Nervous. Number five steps to the line of scrimmage. Two backs in the eye. Nah, I believe you. The halfback with a carry. They get to the fullback. Around the 19-yard line. Number 88 gains around three yards on the run. Make you not want to play cornerback no more. I can't control shit. Come out with a single back formation. They hand it off. They haunt you. They haunt you. For some reason, they thought they'd be able to pick up the first down on the ground. I'm very surprised they didn't try to pass for it. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Utah State against UIL Monroe. In the backfield. That's crazy. There's a play fake. He's rolling right. Surveys the field. 
That's crazy. So now that y'all gotta stop them. I'll tell you what, in today's game, you have to have the ability to run. You gotta get you a game winning pick, you gotta get a game winning pick, my boy. Put the team on your bank. Put the game away. Let's go! Yeah, I do. Yeah, I put team on your back sometimes, man. We was a little, a little struggling here, man. Like, man, get his boy the ball, see what he can do. Get off me, spin move, wiggle. So the kicker lines up for the PAT. And he hits the PA. Yeah, I lock in, my boy. Look at the Pontiac drive summary. Yeah, I lock in, my boy. You got to play the best defense of your life. You got to hold two people if you can. <laughs> Just don't give up the big play, my boy. Play smart defense. They got to win. They can't kick a field goal to win, bro. Remember that. Don't give up the touchdown. That's the most important factor. Don't give up the touchdown. At the 28 yard line. Number 41 lines up in the deep back. I formation. Up the middle. Tackle made at the 34. A nice six yard gain by the tailback there. Second and five. Ball on their own 34. The defense calls it. Ball on your own 34. Again with a carry. Lay it down. One yard gain on the play. Ooh, lay it down. They'll line up. Three and eight. Oh, yeah. Y'all get off the field, bro. Coach, send that blitz, coach. Send that blitz, coach. The Broncos put a man in motion to the left. Get them boys off the field, coach. Ooh. Oh, they 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 going for it. They going for it. They going for it for sure. The Broncos. Fourth quarter. It's fourth down territory. They gonna run the ball. He feels the punt at the 16, and down he goes at the 23. On their last drive, this offense really moved the ball well on the ground. Screen. Interesting to see if that's tough. Has made At least it didn't go for a big one. To stop the run game. Yeah, I'll tell you, they sure couldn't stop. Now it's fourth and five. Scoring on that last drive. Right? Oh, it was second and. State lines up in the offset eye. Give to the tailback. Breaks low. Get off me. Tackle at the 36. That's the dazzling speed we've been hearing about, folks. What a run to keep the chains moving. Speed kills. Yes, indeed. As simple as that. Yep, there's no way a linebacker has any chance of catching this guy. Here's the option. And he's stopped behind the line. So that brings us to the end of the quarter. And at the end of three, our score. The Aggies, 38. The Broncos, 15. I like throwing a ball here. It makes the defense think they have to stop the run and or the pass. Utah State comes to the line with three wide. They fumbling in the bag right now. He's scrambling. Look out. Oh. And credit the safety with that last interception. He knew exactly where the quarterback was going with the football. It's not Bro, 85 dropped the ball and it went right into the dude hands. That was a dot, bro. Look. That's crazy, bro. Hit him right in the hands. Paying attention all week in practice. This safety was ready for today's game. I can't wait till we get that four star receiver, bro. He gonna be a true freshman. And he gonna probably break all the receiving yards. Back to pass. Under pressure. He unloads it. Catches it. And he's tackled at the 25 yard line. That one's more than good enough. Good game, my boy. Good game. Great play by the quarterback to find his target past the marker to keep this drive moving. Boise State is going with the offset eye backfield. They're going to pitch it. 
Bingo. Oh lord. They'll bring him down around the 20 yard line. Number 41 comes away with around five yards. It make you be nervous to play good teams. Ball on the 20 yard line. Two tight end set. He be like, bro, this is how we playing against UL Monroe. How we gonna go against the number one team? That was well defended by this defense. Hey, that linebacker made a nice play. But what about all those big guys up front on the defense? Game winning tackle. Well, they created the play this time, coach. The offensive line is so concerned with their penetrating abilities that these linebackers are able to roam free and make plays like that. He steps out of bounds, and now it's gonna be get that. We challenging that, bro. It's third. That was third down. I don't think he got it. His back foot looked like it came up. Ooh, so close. So the call on the field stands. Snap on that chin strap and go out there and hit somebody. First and goal. Had to make a play, man. To the goal line. That's what it comes down to. We're going to make the most plays. Six yards there on the counter. This one should keep that offense in check. Second down. Here they go. Only two yards from Paydirt. The defense calls an audible. We got to get off the field. Touchdown, Boise State. And a halfback. They really even, they shouldn't even be scoring, bro. Short distance. He had great block. Number two will try to hit it just right so they can get a high bounce. Looks like we're about to see the most exciting play in football, the onside kick. Really most exciting? Here goes nothing. He's tackled at the 46-yard line, and that should pretty much put the nail in the coffin, don't you think? Yeah, all they need to do now is run the ball and don't turn it over. They'll go to work at the 46. I wish I could just simulate to Hawaii. Single back backfield. Damn, he jumped all the way in. And they make the stop at the 46 yard line. I just need the small and jump. I don't be needing that, that dramatic ass. Cut to the other side of the field. The 46 yard line. Davenport, the lone back. Lucky, lucky. Davenport gets another carry. Brought down around the 32 yard line. That's a gain of eight. What sprung this play was some pretty good blocking up front. They read the blitz and picked it up nicely. They line up at the 38. It's third down. Utah State lines up in the offset eye. Here's the option. He can scoot. I thought he was going to make the block. The -yard line. A big gain on the option. I'm telling you right now, guys, the defense has to do a better job of keeping an eye on this young man. He shows he has the ability to hurt you. And this is an offense that can do this to you every now and then. They'll go with a run once again. Oh, he got nailed on that one. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. Second and ten. Who you play next week? Number five lines up under center. The Aggies come out with the offset eye. You'll get the call again. Four yard gain by the back. That was a tough four yards. You gotta throw the ball to your best receiver. Number five is back in the gun. Back to pass. Oregon, watch you watch you blow out Oregon. This one is batted away. Watch you blow them out. Great job to get a finger on that pass and cause the incompletion. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. The ball's on the 23, so this will be about a 40-yarder. It's up, and it's through the uprights. He didn't make it by much, but it counts. That one looked wide from here. I don't know how he was able on, to the out. through the uprights. Me either. They're not good. We dubbed them. Score shouldn't even have been that close, to be honest. Folks, it's been a lot of fun, and I hope you can join us again next time. <coughs> Excuse me. On this one. The Utah State Aggies, 48, and the Boise State Broncos, 28. I can't wait till our uh, recruiting rating go up. <sighs> what y'all recruits look like? Do you got some good recruits that you looking to get coming in? 
Because I got one dude on my recruiting board. It's the only one I'm focused on. Anybody else, who cares? I need that receiver. I need that stud four-star receiver. His visit was a B. I mean, that's it, it wasn't a C. He's still happy. Why didn't let me talk to him? Man, the recruiting should be hard. Yeah, when you barely beat good teams like that, they you barely move up. If we can get Trey Kelly too, that'd be excellent because that'd be two dudes in our that'd be two dudes in our in our receiving core that we definitely could use. I just need it, bro. If I get that one dude, bro, I'll be so happy about next year. Damn, bro. I'm a, I'm gonna simulate Louisiana Tech, but I'm gonna take off like the automatic save, automatic whatever you call it. That's what you just gotta do when you wanna uh, simulate, cause NCAA will hold you out of your season. We moved up one spot. Who up? Who up? Come on, Martinez, bro. We the number A school. You can be a part of the the new you. This the, the we about to be the you, bro. We about to be the you, bro. I think I need some noodles. I'm getting hungry. I think I'm gonna eat pizza today. Papa John's. See, Louisa. Oh, we moved up two spots. And we probably move up again. Okay, we still got them. Okay, yeah, we pulling away with him too. We pulling away. We're doing pretty good in all the schools that we got. I mean, all the dudes that we that we number one with. So, uh, what was I gonna do? I ain't gonna talk to him. I, I I don't think I had to talk to him every week. Um, we're gonna see. Also, I'm gonna take off. Let's save it right now, just in case it didn't save. Take off auto save. Where is Otto? 
Is there no auto save on there? Bro, I can't risk no L. I can't risk no L simulating. Very, very fun. I want to simulate so bad, bro. I'm just, if we lose, bro. We got a better overall. It's not by much. I would be more comfortable if it was a B plus. We beat him. We blow him out. Okay, great. Damn, my boy Rush was it. Wow, oh my god, his stats went up down. Alright. Let's see how our recruiting was affected. Hey man, we still we still got him. You got to go against Oregon. I think we might end up playing Michigan again. So we meet again. <laughs> I think your boy's gonna win. We're number seven still. Mm, I like Texas. Let's go Stanford. I know Stanford run the ball a lot. Stanford be having some. Oh no, it's Wisconsin. Wisconsin be running the hell out that ball. But Stanford be Stanford a good run team too. Andrew Luck came out of a good um, pro style offense. Running heavy, good play actions. The fans create a wonderful football atmosphere. Damn, it's 29 degrees out there. Stadium. All right, we're ready to go. Let's take it to the coin toss. Yeah, Wisconsin has some great running backs through the years recently. Utah State is lined up to kick the ball off first, and we are ready to go. Melvin Gordon is the last one I remember. If I'm not mistaken. But they had, I think it was Monte Ball. They had a few good running backs recently. They had ran for like 4,000 yards damn near. Oh, was it 4,000? I don't remember what it was. It was some crazy number, though. They'll start at the 26. First down, 10 yards to go. We got some two stars here. He's under pressure. Catches it. A little juice. There's an injured player on the field. Lay it down. They jerseys playing as hell. The defense is changing their play. 
They'll work from the shotgun. Throws it on the run. Tackle at the 43. This quarterback definitely has some confidence in his arm, Kirk. It sure looks that way. That was well covered by the defense, and he still got it in there. First and 10. Going with the shotgun here. Looks to pass. It falls incomplete. Number five was the intended target. That'll make it. He's throwing the ball so far. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43 yard line. Number six is in the shotgun. He's got four receivers split out wide. Yeah, number seven, like he's going to be a problem. He looked cold as hell. So the pickup I can tell already. Play, yeah, it was. I like plays like these. As long as you're moving forward and not backward, you're doing pretty good. Yep, he saw an opening on the left side of the field and delivered a great ball. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. The defense comes up tight on the coverage. Good play call. Run the option. Good play call. He was the last line of defense. This is one of those uh-oh plays for the defense. Not only do you not stop them on third down, you give up. You won already? Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Nice option play there against that defense. From the 28-yard line. First down. Drops back to pass. Number seven got routes, boy. He, the wide receiver couldn't catch up to that ball. Damn, boy. Moving, boy. Could have caught up to that one. He just misfired it. It's second down. Oh, seven. Oh, my dumb ass. <laughs> I'm thinking you're saying you seven and oh. The Warriors come out in the shotgun. Steps up in the pocket. Number 89. Can we get that? Can we get that? Can we get that? Can we get that? And the ball changed hands now after the fumble. It's a great Let's game. go. They are taught to attack and try to strip the football. And this is a result of their aggressive Let's play. fucking go. And this linebacker is in the middle of everything. And that was a great Let's recovery to get go. of the football. They'll take over at the eight-yard line. First down, ten yards to go. Counter play. Nice move. He's tackled at the ten. Davenport comes away. Whole lot for a little. A little counter play. Whole lot for a little. Looked like the rush caused some problems there, coach. Yep, they were in there so quick that the running back was never able to get started. From their own. Mm. Oh yeah, we gone. We was patient. We was patient. And they finally knock him out at the forty-yard line. And again, he comes up with a huge run. I tell you, there are pro scouts out there just drooling over this guy. He's an unbelievable talent. And arguably, I would say that he means more to this team than any other player out there means to his team right now. Setting up play action. Looking. Rolls to the left. We go. And we go. And now he's got room to run. He can't spin out of that tackle. And he's brought down. They'll get the first down. The reason why he got so much room to run was because the defense didn't contain him. Yep, coach. He made the correct decision to tuck it and go. It's first and ten. Ball on the 41 yard line. Number five is under center. On play action. Looks. Short pass to the right. But they shot. Man, he tried to juke. Put the shot down, my boy. Two yard line. And they get a few yards on that little reception. Check it out. He ran a good route on this play. And the timing of the pass was good. And they were able to get a nice gain. Second down and around one to go. Ball on the 32. Again with the run. Tackle. Keep pushing. Keep moving the legs, baby. Hey, this kid's a good looking back. Let's see if they go to him again. First down, you know to go. You know we win. 24, Davenport, alone in the backfield. Utah State, using an audible. You know we win. Another run. He jukes him. There's a missed tackle. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 18. Six yards on the carry. Not to run here would be perfect. You just got to make sure. Got to have that vision, that running back, boy. Got to have that vision. Davenport lines up in the deep back. Eye formation. Breaks one. What a play, and that is first and goal. I wish my fullback would have played going with him. He'll get the first down. He's been pretty reliable on this drive, Kirk. He's carrying this offense on his back right now. And I think they'll keep giving him the ball until the defense figures out a way to stop him. Number five is under center. There's the play fake. Rolls to the right. He's going to try and scramble. Dives and gets the score. And he just tucked the ball. 7-0, baby. 7-0. Let's get it. Blue cut.
We got a big time turnover. They like running a lot of four wide. They trying to spread this out, I see. Going with the shotgun here. Number six with four wide receiver. Back to pass. Complete. Big boy caught it. Around the 44 yard line. So a nice little pitch and catch there. And that'll yeah, they ran four wide down. almost every time. Very good looking pass play to get more than enough yards to move the chains. First and ten. Ball on the 44. Number six lines up in the shotgun. They're trying to spread us out, bro. At the 49. On the five yard. Five yard gain on the play. Five wide. They line up at the 49. Second down. The defense is playing the pass on this one. He fires right side. I knew that was coming to him. I couldn't get down there quick enough. 44 yard line. Number seven. Gains around seven yards with a catch. He different. He different. And it keeps the wheels turning on this drive. It's first he keeps getting open. The Warriors come out with four wide receivers. There. The quarterback's in the shotgun. Back to pass. Number five, Number five was the intended target. That'll make we'll it second start down. jamming them, put some pressure on them. We got good help over the top. We'll be all right. Move in close on the coverage. The Aggies are up tight on the receivers. Drops back to pass. Yeah, Looking, that's what we need. Rifles it over the middle. And That's down he goes. It. The Jammed them up over there. I've seen it. Of about seven. Seven this was a nice little route here the by the receiver. He took the ball in nicely. Do it again. He got his team a decent game. The defensive backs moving in closer. The Warriors have five receivers on this play. Hawaii in a five wide set. Short pass to the left. And this one falls incomplete. That ball should have been picked off. This quarterback had too much faith in his Let's see make it. Well, that confidence almost led to a change of possession. His man wasn't even close to being open. Look, bro, he made a 50-something yard kick. 54 yard with ease. He had he could have made that from 60. Number 86 looks ready to kick He could have made that from 60. Easy. And it's off. Number five from the four. A little juice. Tackle at the 28. So let's see how the defense will hold up now as this offense comes out for their next drive. They'll go to work at the 28-yard line. First and 10. The Aggies come out in a two-tight end set. Setting up play action. He's looking. He unloads it. Complete. It's the junior. They rolled the pocket, and that looked like a pretty nice little play. Hey, they picked up a nice gain of seven yards on that play. Great yeah, I let my boys eat sometimes, you know what I mean? I'm going to need him in the future. The Aggies come out with the offset eye. It's the tailback. Oh, man. I juke too early on accident. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. From their own 35-yard line. Third down. Ace backfield. Here's the option left. He jukes. Gets out to around the 45. And they convert on third down. Let me tell you, anytime you run the option, it really makes the other team afraid to blitz. Because if you blitz to the inside, it's going to the outside and vice versa. Utah State sets up in the eye. Little handoff. Oh, yeah, that's a great play. Big opening. Down that's a great play. They was following my fullback, thinking I was going to run to the left. Once he got past the second level, I'm going to use that play a lot more often. It was going to be a touchdown. You know, I wonder how many people have this guy down as their man for the Heisman. That's a good question, Kirk. All I know is he's looking very deserving of that preseason All-American mention. Here's the try for the extra point. Man, I want that national championship so bad, bro. I want that national because I feel like that national championship will make me like jump from three star to four star. So I'm at two star right now. If I can jump to four star next year, the recruiting class is over. The fact that I can get a four star at two star is like amazing, but 
And I don't even want to sit there at three star, bro, because that's a whole extra year I'm wasting with my boys, man. We trying to build the, we trying to build the crazy squad around them by their senior year. Right up in there, they'll take over at the twenty. Number six, back in the gun. They'll throw on first down. Great defense. And the linebacker makes a good defensive play. The thing I like about this play is he made the play without getting pass interference. This is a good football player. The defensive backs moving in closer. Number six is in the shotgun. Four receivers wide. Drops back to pass. That one goes for good yardage and a first down. Oh, uh, bro, you good, man. Do your thing. The defense is changing their play. I'm so busy trying to hold this one dude. Other side got open. He throws on the run. He's still moving. Yeah, they getting, they got many dudes to throw it to. I'm just worried about number six cooking. I gotta just, I gotta just focus on playing good defense. Great reads, and he's doing a good job of finding his open receiver. I just gotta focus on playing good defense. Passing right now, and he'll get 500 if this defense doesn't slow down. I want to go past the line. Peace to Utah State. As all their DBs and five wide sets drop back to pass. He's looking. The cavalry's coming. Caught. Brought down. Double tackle. How about that play? That's a good pickup there. He just dropped Number back 19. and delivered a nice throw. Great the pursuit there by the linebacker to make the sure tackle on this kid. Bro, you ain't got to explain yourself to me. I got two cats. I know exactly how they be. The defense is changing their play. They come out with four wideouts. They go with the run. Breaks one. Gets out to around the 32. Jesus. They pick up another first, guys. They've got a decent drive going here. Yep, the offense is doing exactly what they have to do. Move the stick. First and 10. Ball on the 32-yard line. Number six. Back in the gun. Option to the right side. Tackle at the 28-yard line. Four yards on that play. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 28. Crazy as hell. In the gun. Two tight ends in for the oh my god, that was a dot. They pushed out of bounds, but it's going to be first and goal. That was a dot. He made a great read and delivered a very nice pass. They got to spread out, bro. We don't have that much depth. The ball right there where it had to go. Nice play. The weirdest spots is the, the best. Love to get into the end zone and this a game again. And they some real bad. They got great run support from the safety position on that. They love hiding, bro. Eyes in the backfield that whole play. Great anticipation to stop him for a loss. It's the predator. The, it's, it's the, the predator in them. It's second down. Number six is in the shotgun. He's got four receivers split out wide. Drop back to pass. He was facing a mad rush when he threw that ball into the end zone. They came after him, sweetheart. Big time. Let's see how the quarterback handles this one. It's third and goal from the seventh. I got two of them. They be playing, trying to like hide from each other and catch each other off guard and stuff like that. Back to pass. Incomplete after the defense got in his face and punished him as he released the football. The offensive line is just opening the floodgates on him. It's fourth down. This would be a 24-yard field goal. He gets it up, and it's good. And here's the Pontiac drive summary. Hawaii. Is ready to kick it away. He sends it off. <laughs> Caught at the eight. Juke move. He's taken down at the 30. That last drive resulted in a touchdown, mainly because of the running game. And with that success running the football, I'm looking for play action then right over the top for six. The offense will start. If I had the receivers. Line. We've got a first and ten. Davenport alone in the backfield. I'd be forgetting to put him at receiver. Now he's scrambling, rolling out to the left side. Throws. It's batted down, incomplete. That's just a great defensive play. It won't look like much in the stat book, but that's, that's why I gotta put him at receiver because boys do stuff like that, man. Easy catch, bro. Is under center. Davenport gets the call. There's a stiff arm, and down he goes. That boy was running away from me, man. I thought he was going to come in closer. Four yards. There's Curry. We've got a third and six. 
They line up with split backs. Looking to throw. He scrambled. He looks. Guns it across the middle. Oh, yeah. He might have a chance. To the 20. To the 10. Touchdown. What a display of pure speed. Now, any time this guy touches the ball, he has the ability to go the entire length of the field with that speed. And if I was called... Broke you know, them boys say, quickly. Go past everybody and we'll throw it to you. He a wide open. He just made a play, though. Hoo, hoo. That was nasty. And they're lining up for the PAT. Kicks That's up. a real Heisman shit right there, the boy. Point. And now we're going to take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. Poop, poop. That was nasty. Number five, ready to kick. Number seven, and number 32, back to return. He got all of that one. <clears throat> I thought I was going to line them up. And down he goes at the 20-yard line. A scoring drive the last time out for this offense, and they'll huddle up for this drive. Anytime you can put points on the board, things are going in the right direction. The Warriors set up in the gun. Number six, back in the gun, looking to throw. He passes it, brought down. When I'm right there, bro, they always make a good play on me. It's nice annoying. The it's like they be picking on me. Perfectly. Good precision there. First down. Keep trying me, bro. Ball on the I'm going to take that shit to the crib. Number six, lines up in the shotgun. Option to the right. Oh, I thought he fumbled. He wanted to. Boy, well, he wanted to. Yo, game a good game so far? Oh, we putting that. We putting that work on these boys. Ball on their own 38. From the gun, he drops back. He looks. Oh, what a great route. Now with a juke. Breaks one. And they bring him down. Boy, they do not want to go down. Oh, my God. He split us. That kid's got some kind of arm, and it carried him to a big game right there. So the big gain resulting from the pass play leaves us with a first and ten. The defense calls an audible. Line them up. Line them up. Number six picks up about two there on the option. All right, brother. I'm about to eat me some noodles, too. From I'm starving. Second down. Before I get my Papa Jones. Papa Jones. There are four wide receivers split out. The quarterback <sighs> And he's hit before he can go anywhere. What a throw and catch, guys. I'll tell you what, this young kid has a real gun for an arm. He sizes up to play well, and then gets the ball out of there. First down. 11 Number yards seven down. is a man child. They're in the red zone again, but this time they should be thinking. Yep, about we right there. Intercepted. It's the sophomore corner. Yeah, we're going to win the Heisman. We're doing the absolute most. And he's all the way in for the touchdown. Oh, that's a quarterback. Game time. Nightmare. Don't remind me, folks, but I really think that was a great defensive play. He made a nice jump on the ball and took it to the house. Play clocks at zero. They took too much time.
I just spread the ball around here. Keeps that defense on their toes. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 27. Number five calls an audible. He drops back. Slips it short. Caught by the sophomore. Tackle at the 37. How about that pass, Kirk? You know, guys, one of the things often overlooked in college football is the relationship between a quarterback and his receiver. Here, you can see that these two are definitely on the same page. He rolls out to the right. He gets another, and this is a big one. This kid just continues to impress us with his ability to catch the football. He's already gone over 100 yards here in the first half. And if you were to ask this defense, who wants to cover this guy, I bet you nobody's going to raise their hand because this receiver is embarrassing them. The Aggies take a timeout, and they'll have two remaining. That was the first down. Usually the boss, they wait till we get set before they... They're calling an audible. Drops back a pass. He throws it out to the flat. He's knocked out of bounds. They just took what the defense gave them on that play. Yeah, you're right. That was a good job of getting that pass completed for positive yardage. They're about four yards away here on second down. Number 27 lines up as a single back. There are four receivers split wide. Utah State changing their play. He's looking to pass. Rolls right. There he goes. Out of bounds at the six-yard line. Three yards there on the quarterback keeper. We ain't got no It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. The Aggies come out in the ace formation. The Aggies audible to something else. Looks to pass. He's looking. Short pass to the left. He's in. Touchdown, Aggies. Now they'll try to tack on the extra point. He splits the uprights with the extra point. That score leads us to our Pontiac drive summary. We still have a half left to play, but right now, they've got this thing under control. Our score, Utah State 35, Hawaii 12. They'll set up shop at the 24. Number five lines up under center. Three receivers split out wide. Davenport gets it on the inside. Brought down at the 29-yard line. Davenport picks up five with the carry. Five-yard gain on the play. From their own 29-yard line. Second down. Number five lines up under center. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. He rolls out to the right. He's going to take off. Got some open field. Down the sideline. And he's finally shoved out at the 33-yard line. Oh, my, what a year this quarterback is having, fellas. Yeah, one of the questions coming into this season was whether or not he'd be able to continue to perform the way oh, he did during two days. And I'll tell you what, this young man has played beyond everybody's expectation. Boy, you're right, Kirk. Talking to this coach, he was telling us how he was very impressed with the development. How about the Astros playing today? He was absolutely right. First down and 10 to go after the game on the run.
Here's the call from the referee. And the coach doesn't look very happy after that. Well, you only help out the defense when you don't get the playoff in time. You're essentially just giving away free yardage. First down and 15 to go. Rain delay. Oh, we got rain. I knew the game was supposed to be on Monday. It's a handoff to the right. I thought I was tripping. Taken down at the 31 yard line. He takes the handoff and responds with a seven yard gain. 8.30 Eastern. So seven o'clock. I thought I was tripping because I was looking for the game yesterday and the news was on. I was like, what the fuck? Where is that one play? I'm going to have to go by like play type. This one. From the 31 Lito. Second down. Number five lines up under center. High formation. The offense didn't get the playoff in time. I think they just had some trouble getting the right play in there. I forgot it took me forever to pick the play. Second and 13. Ball on the 36 yard line. Oh, we're going to get him again. I am about to say, that linebacker stay right there is over. Davenport gets the call again, and they'll bring him down behind the line. That's the linebacker there getting in there to shut that play down. The D-line did a good job of nullifying out the blocks up front, and that allowed the linebacker to roam free and make the tackle in the backfield. It's third down and 13 to go. Hawaii comes out defensively with six defensive backs. Utah State using an audible. Looking, he's scrambling. He lets it fly, and he will score. What do you think about that touchdown pass, Kirk? That was number three, Herbie. Well, patience is the key here, guys. What I'm noticing more and more about this guy is he's very patient with the ball, and it's resulting in some nice. Linebacker was in like a good spot for the longest. I didn't even realize they weren't ranked anymore. No They'll take over at the 17 yard line. We've got They're trying to make it hard for me. Utah State comes out with three receivers and a single back formation. They'll knock him down for a loss. And the defense just swarmed over him on that one. Yeah, they were able to penetrate the offensive line and get to the running back before that play even had a chance. They line up at the 15. It's second down. Number five comes to the line under center. He has two tight ends. They go with a toss. They'll drop him for We're not loss. making no blocks, man. That's annoying. Perfect defense by this corner. Great job of providing run support. Yep, he wasn't fooled at all by that play, and he really did well to stop him short of the line of scrimmage. It's third down and 14 to go. Ball on the 13-yard line. Number five is lined up under center. Back to pass. He's under pressure. goes has some daylight breaks one at the 40 across midfield and they finally knock him out at the 40 yard line well there's no doubt what makes this kid such a dangerous weapon on the football field another run more positive yards and those yards put him over the 100 yard mark today this guy sure can run the football and i like him a lot too he's very multi-talented he can throw and run the ball very well 
It allows the offensive coordinator to have unlimited options when developing his game plan. That was nasty. So the great run leaves this offense with a first and ten. The Aggies come to the line with their jumbo package. Buffalo, Buffalo. They go with the run. They mm, down mm, mm. The third seven yard line. You gotta make that man miss. Couple, maybe three yards on that run. This kid's a real physical corner. He has no reservations about coming up and run support and putting a lick on a ball carry. I love that. They line up at the 37. It's second down. The backfield's in an offset eye formation. Nice play fake. He's scrambling. And he finds a wide open fullback. He tries to step. Let's go. And they bring him down at the five yard line. Look at him. Sweetheart, what a play. Yeah, you got to be impressed with that play call. The defense can't afford to let this guy pick him apart through the air. I think they need to change up their defense a little bit to try to confuse this. <laughs> that was hilarious. That's hilarious. First down and goal to go. Five yards to the goal line. In the red zone again. Let's see if it'll be another touchdown. He jumps up. Well, the defense really put the clamps down on that run. Boy, Brad, great effort up front by that defense. We've got second and goal. Ball on the eight-yard line. Utah State sets up in the eye. Davenport on the give. It's a fumble. And it's picked up by one of the linemen. Looks got like lucky. The What's good, my boy? It's always a relief when you see one of your teammates come up with a football. And that halfback has to be especially happy. He's the one who coughed it up in the first place. Heading to the fourth quarter. This one is well in hand. With the score, Utah State 42, Hawaii 12. The Aggies come out with a single back formation. Oh, yeah, We're putting that hurt on these boys. Drop back to pass. To the end zone. Almost picked off. What a huge break for the offense. He had his hands all over that ball. He just couldn't bring it in. So they're going to go for it here. The Aggies line up with three wide. Flags are all over the place. And hey, I want to get that free playoff. <laughs> Here we go from the seven. It's fourth down. So the field back. open. And no more. Surveys the field. He steps up. Number five. Has time. Here they come. Rolls right. <sighs> what do you think of their choice to go for it there? Let me say one thing about that coaching decision. Kick we should be, bro. Time, you'd be a lot better off. Well, I guess it's I'm trying to get that top to three, side. man. I'm trying to really be number two. I'm trying to get that national championship, man. Utah State brings in their nickel package. First down, look at the throw. Dumps it right, catches it. He's hit and taken down. We done on defense, I ain't gonna lie. We blowing the team out. We ain't playing no more defense. Unless we got a, a dude, we're trying to get some good good stats or something. They'll start this drive at midfield. 
Hopefully we get top five though. We've been moving up one rank at a time, but this is. I like the backup scene now. This is a nice little draw. Got a backup scene now. That's game time. Ball game, folks. How many games left in the season? What are we like seven and one? So like three, like three games left. Two or three games left. I think two, two including the uh, conference championship game. And the Warriors of Hawaii, nineteen. That's what I believe. Man, man, I know my reloads over here. I'm gonna start simulating before I get up. I need to go use it anyways. We gotta, we gotta see some teams lose. We're gonna, I'm about to check it out right now. Oh, and in the BCS, we're eighth. Golly, no. Like I got to say, I don't think Michigan gonna lose. LSU, oh my God, they just blew out Ole Miss. It all look like they. Uh, who LSU next hard? Who is? Who else in the SEC? Florida, Florida. Hopefully, oh Florida and Florida State. One of them teams got to beat. One of those teams got to beat. LSU, Michigan. Oh, Michigan can easily lose one of these games. Oh, yeah, Michigan got the heart. I thought Michigan had a cakewalk. They had a pretty hard schedule at the end of the year. Dang, that's a tough schedule at the end of the year for them. Notre Dame is number three. All they got is USC left. We got four, four weeks left. So we got, we got a lot of ball game left. Nebraska, Oklahoma, and then they got all they got is Oklahoma in the, in the the conference championship game. Penn State got Michigan left, so hopefully I, I hope Michigan loses next week game. Then I hope Michigan beat this team so we can fuck up all of the rankings in front of me. <laughs> um, West Virginia got a good chance of making it, man. West Virginia got a very good chance of making it. Because they don't really play nobody else. It's going to be survival of the fittest. I just got to hope teams lose. I don't want Michigan to lose, though. That's the only team that beat us this year. I want Michigan to win, though. That's what's frustrating. I want, I want my get back. And that's paid many teams. So it's like I want to play against a creative player in the national championship. But LSU also have a creative player, too, Booby Miles. So it's possible within the next uh, few games one of those teams don't lose. But I don't know. I really need everybody in front of me to lose. I gotta. I, at, at this point, I only can worry about me. Because <laughs> at this point, destiny is not in my hands. It's very tough right now. Getting him would be better than winning the national championship, though. I ain't gonna lie. We got Nevada. We got a bunch of bye weeks. So, I mean. Yeah, besides us. And we got a lot of bye games, so we really just waiting until conference championship. I'll try to use the restroom. I'll be right back. <clears throat>
I can't even simulate this game. Where are we ranked now? We still number seven. <laughs> so that means I gotta check. I gotta check this every week. What happened last week when we simulated? Nobody moved. Last week rankings look exactly the same. One through ten. <laughs> they blew them out. They blew out Northwestern. Check out these Hosmer's rankings. Look like Bailey gonna win. Well, he, his stats are too crazy. Yeah, kick return, passing touchdowns, receiving touchdowns, I mean, whatever you wanna call it. Rushing touchdowns, he was absolutely ridiculous. Florida probably play Clemson. Okay, so I'll break it up. So Florida State will have to play Miami. I believe Florida State ahead of me, right? Oh no, they behind me one game. Okay, 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 okay. I'm not worried about Florida State. Nebraska will have to play Oklahoma and they not good. Oh, why not a and a and Who the fuck did y'all lose to? Y'all lost to Oklahoma. Texas, come on, man. I feel like one of those teams would have been better. I just don't believe in Oklahoma, bro. Especially with three losses. Oh, they rank 18. Okay, I guess. that's a, We got a shot. Who is West Virginia? West Virginia don't play nobody. They, we got to fix that. We got to fix that. No team, every team should be having a, a championship game. We got to fix that. Yeah, they going to make it, bro, because they, they don't have a championship game. Teams that don't have a championship game make it way easier for themselves. And we only play in New Mexico. I'm, I, I got to simulate these. Let me save it. It's no way I'm playing these guys, bro. I'm ready to get to the next year and some more shit, bro. Especially this natty. Whether we gonna get there or whether we not. Dub, let's get it. Let's check on my recruits, make sure we, we still good. Oh yeah, he, we, he, we got him, we got him, we got him, we got him. Switch conferences? I probably do that. I probably do that for sure, because like you said, well like I said, that's not a good uh, conference championship game. Oh, let me save this. It's a big week. We want the number six, bro. And one loss, man. And one loss to Michigan, man. This is the week that's going to tell us everything right here. Bro, if that jumped to number two, I'm gonna be so fucking happy. Nope. Oh, this game didn't play. Okay, I thought we simulated that game. I thought I simulated that game. Oh, we jumped to that game. Okay. <sighs> Let's look at the damage, man. We moved up one spot, which is... You gotta take it, bro. You gotta take it. Oh, 
Okay. 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 What's the name lost? Where are they at? Michigan lost. But they're still ahead of me. They're still ahead of me. That's crazy. LSU is not losing to Arkansas. Notre Dame is playing Air Force. Oh, they got to play. Oh, I think that's their... Wait, they got two games left in the season? That can't be their championship game. Penn State beat Michigan by a good one. Damn, bro, why is Michigan State they fucking ball game? I mean, conference championship game. West Virginia did have a, another game to play. Okay. It's still almost impossible, but I mean, I see some good games there, but I think the most I can jump to is like four. Three if I'm fucking extremely lucky. Three if I'm extremely lucky, man. We played our hearts out to, I think, miss another championship. Oh, wait, we get a bye week too? Hold on. That bye week is crucial. So it was another week left. Hold on. So we get to simulate our bye week as well. Yes! Let's go! Then we're gonna simulate one more week, bro. And that could easily be that jump we need. Because I, I, unless a team pop up right here and that's it. Is this the last week? Is this the last week? I feel like this is. It said bye week. It can't be the last week if it said bye week. It normally wouldn't say that. Okay, conference championship. We move back. We move fucking back. Because <laughs> we had a bye week. It happens. It happens. I think we still... We still good. It wouldn't matter. It won't matter. Four or five, it doesn't matter. Because we got... It depends on what happens at one and two. So we're going to get a conference championship game, I think. Another bye? The WAC doesn't have a conference. I didn't fix this. Yeah, I got to switch conferences. I got to fix up the conferences. That's tough. Yeah, but now let's go back. Let's check my recruits, man. I can't get too off task with them. Go ahead, commit, bro. Go ahead, commit, bro. Come on, man. Let's get that. Let's get that hard, hard commit. <sighs> all right, all right. Okay, we can just look at NCAA schedule. We don't have to go through. All right. So what games we got? That doesn't matter. This game matters the most. That's the only game that matters. So. At best, at, at best we could be the three. We're going to watch that game. I ain't going to lie. That's a good game. Number one versus seven, SEC. Uh, we'll be booby side. Purple. We're going to simulate and watch some game. We're going to watch some plays and stuff like that. Man, bro, we got so close. I think we're going to get to number three if they lose, but I don't see LSU losing. They got a creative player on their team that's a stud, bro. And I think this is the second year we'll finish right outside the top two. I think last year we finished three as well. 
This is the SEC championship game, and the fans have packed the stadium ready for an intense matchup. No weather can affect us here today. We're in the dome for our contest between the LSU Tigers and the Florida Gators. Hello, welcome everybody. I'm Brad Nessler along with Lee Corbin and Kirk Herbstreit. And I think everybody is ready to find out who really is the best team in the SEC. Today we get to see this monster at linebacker try to contain a very good running back. What do you guys think of this matchup? This will be a classic matchup. If anyone is going to stop this running back, it'll have to be this linebacker. He's the leader of this defense, and they need him to step up. Man, there's going to be a lot of hitting down there in that field today. And that's it for our pregame. Now let's take you to the coin toss. McBride. Yeah, yeah, I'm not going to play. Just about ready to get this one started. There goes the opening kick. He'll return it from the one. Is that Percy Harvin? He's taken down at the 31. Now we'll get to see how this quarterback can do today as he comes out onto the field um, for the first time. We'll watch both first opening drives. We'll watch both opening drives and then we'll watch like key like drives before halftime and stuff like that. We won't watch the entire game. And they make the stop at about Unless it's a good game or something, then shit. Fuck it. And he threw that ball in there nicely. Did you So it's second down and about two yards to go? Number 13 lines up in the shotgun. They'll run the LSU got in that backfield. That's real good. No, they didn't. Especially against the run. They're about four yards away here on third down. Florida ranked number seven. Seven versus one. Oh, that's a bad pass. I think he had somebody open across the middle if he was patient. And if you're the defensive coordinator, you deserve a pat on the back. The offense will start at the 28-yard line. I ain't gonna lie, this kind of fun just watching. Come out of the shotgun. Three receivers wide. Drops back on first down. He decides to run with it. With a stiff arm. He's taken down. At the 35 he a little chunky. Seven yard play. Yeah, we need LSU to lose. But I will watch the national championship game because, oh, Michigan not in it no more. I was going to say it's going to be Peyton Manning versus Booby Miles. Look, Booby Miles at uh, running back. Why he light skin? I made him dark skin. Oh, my God. Who was that? Who was that? Jamar Chase? down 10 yards to go ball on the 40 yard line number 11 is under center miles on the delay Tackle at the 32 -yard i don't see them losing this game man that's booby miles from friday night lights if y'all know the weird the backfields in an offset eye formation big opening I'm using that play. That play worked good as hell. First down. They'll try to get it in. Florida respond on the next drive will be crucial. Because their offense is humming. They got two stars in the backfield. Good sack. Great sack. Way to slow down that momentum by Florida, man. We need that Florida. Let's go. Nobody picked him up, but he came. It's second down on the 12, and they can smell the goal line. Great play action. They beat. Ooh, bad pass. Great. Great defense, Florida. Great defense. All right, we're going we're gonna to watch till we get the first score. Oh, they didn't, they didn't give him a forward prog uh, progression? I guess because he was going forward. But technically, in my eyes, that's going backwards. Great throw out of the backfield. That's a risky play call. That was a very risky play call. First and ten. 
Ball on the 17 yard. Play action in your own end zone. They line this one up in the shotgun. Four wide receivers split out in the formation. Number 13. Lines Good draw play. Draw plays never work for me. From their own 26 yard line. Second down. Going with the shotgun here. The Gators set up in the gun. Here's the option. He went by him. They're getting the momentum back. Man, that was a great turnover in the end zone. First and ten. Ball on the 30. This feels so classic because it's such a robbery. It's a classic robbery, man. And he's tackled Adam. It's second and six. Florida doing good. They're getting four yards of drive every time. They, I mean, four yards of carry every time they run the ball. Damn, they got a, a, a star tight end and a receiver. That's what's up. Oh, they tried to get it to him. Almost threw a pick. It's third down and six to go. Ball on their own 33. They don't look like they have no rookies on the field. No freshmen. No recruits. He's in the shotgun. He's got three receivers split out wide. Drops back to pass. All right, so still made so far good defense. Yeah, I'm going to watch the World Series. I'm waiting for it to cut on. I'll probably still be playing the game, though. I'm going to just watch it on the side. Number 11, back in the gun. Miles takes it up the middle. He tackles him for a loss. And he couldn't go anywhere. Why getting that backfield? Yeah, he couldn't go anywhere because there was no place for him to run. The defensive front got a good push. It's a defensive ball game so far, man. Coming up here. You know, I'm from Houston. I got to watch the World Series. Even if I'm a, a Fairweather fan, we got to watch the World Series. Oh, great defense. All right, man. We might have something, man. If Florida can play defense like this, man, we might we might get an upset. Uh-oh, he gone. Oh, they stopped him short. That could be huge. Will return, win, knock that. Okay, he back. He gonna be back. So it's fourth down. I wasn't trying to do this. Yep, we got an hour left. Where you from, BK? He really got a hold of that one. Number one takes this at twenty-one. Juke move. He jukes. He's tackled at about the thirty-three yard line. First and ten. Ball on the thirty-three yard line. Number 13 lines up in the gun. He's got three receivers in the formation. He's looking to pass. You know that might be Cam Newton. The quarterback is going to think twice about Number 13. His way again. Safety couldn't hang on to the ball this time. Because Tim Tebow was on that team last year. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 33. The offense lines this one up in the shotgun with two tight ends. And it's picked off. Defense all day long. He jukes. Tries to juke. Defense all day long. Not a good decision there. Why do you even throw that pass? Well, it's a good job by the corner. Yeah, so 2013 was Tim Tebow. First and ten. Yep, that's Cam Newton. That's Cam Newton. He's taken down at the 24. Nice gain on the play. The ball is scored. Because he wasn't playing, but this year he is on the floor. That's crazy. That's Cam Newton. From the he didn't play last year because it was Tim Tebow, but Tim Tebow must have left. I was like, for some reason, that number 13 stands out on floor. He never played there in real life because he uh, transferred, I think, after the year they won the champ. He transferred the same year they won the championship to uh, Blinn Junior College. And then that's when he went to Auburn after he won the national championship at Blinn. Then he went to win it at uh, Auburn. But instead of doing all that, he stayed at Florida in this universe. That was a good defensive effort. Cam Newton, can you lead this? Bro, all right. Now that I know that's Cam Newton on that side of the ball. 
<laughs> I got a lot more confidence. I'm laughing because I'm pretty sure it's not the Cam Newton ratings that it should be, but who knows? Maybe they knew he was next up. Oh my goodness. I didn't expect it to be this low scoring of a game. Oh, Tim Tebow's hurt. Tim Tebow's hurt. That's crazy. That's crazy. Damn, if he wasn't let me, I got to check the injury report then. That's crazy. If he wasn't hurt, this is a different ball game for sure. Broken wrist out for the season. That's crazy. I knew I knew the Florida Gators were supposed to be good this year. I knew I wasn't tripping, but I was like, I guess Tim Tebow was gone, so they had a little slippage. That makes so much sense now. Looks like they've decided okay. to go for it here. Oh, going for it on fourth and two. Very ballsy. He's in the backfield. Oh, did they get it? That was so close. Another good run from this running back. Let's see if he continues to get his carry. Wow, that was so close. They was in the backfield. They had great defensive pressure. Number 11 is back in the They're back in the red zone. Can they capitalize this time? Last time they threw a pick. Wide open. Going to the man. Going to that man. That's what you got to do, man. Get the ball to your star. From the three-yard line. First down. Get the ball to your star. To the tailback. Yep. Touchdown, there we go. All right, Cam. They'll line up for the point after. LA All right, Cam. With a six-point lead. And he adds the extra point kick. It's on you now, big dog. Oh snap! I would. I missed. Hold on. Let me. I gotta catch up. They'll take over at the 15. First down. 10 yards to go. The Tigers bring in their dime. Oh, you're from New York. Okay. Yeah, I watched basketball. Tim Tebow was a bust. He ended up, he ended up being a bust. But, oh, my God, that might be ball game right there, folks. Come on, Cam. He's trying to get it to a star receiver. I understand that. But, fuck, Cam. But I feel like Tim Tebow could have been a star in the NFL if he found a team that could like create an offense like for him. Because if it was successful in college, you can create an offense to be successful in the NFL, I feel Get like. Because it wasn't like he couldn't make throws at all. And he ain't just get out of the first round of the playoffs for no reason. You know how many sorry ass quarterbacks we ain't got and seen that ain't did nothing similar to that? Like, I don't know. Offset I feel like Cam Newton could have did something. I mean, I can I feel like Tim Tebow could have did something. Right. If a team just kept relying on him. Because, I mean, look what Jared Allen doing. I mean, or whatever his name is for the Bills. He can throw way better than Tim Tebow for sure. But the fact that how he be running that ball, bro. Tim Tebow would have been doing that shit even better. And I feel like he would have made the right throws. He would have made the throws when he needed them to because he was clutching the fourth quarter. Like, I don't know. But I wasn't the biggest Tim Tebow fan. But I don't think – I just think that the uh, Broncos gave up on him too early. Or did they get paid many? I think they got paid many. That's why. Uh-oh. That's who he was trying to get that ball to. Um, right now, my favorite team. My favorite basketball team. The offense will take over at the 44. It used to be wherever team Russ was on, Russell Westbrook. The Gators. But I mean, it's hard to be a Lakers fan. Um, I'm gonna say the Hornets because I like Lamelo Ball. That's that's probably I'm a Hornets fan. I want to see what they can do with that team. First down. Outside of that, I just like basketball. I'm, I don't really. I, I like a lot of different players. I like Zion. 
I'm not really a fan of any team because there's so many good players. I like Jason Tatum. I like the Warriors shit. The Warriors, the Warriors without KD, of course. So it's like I don't know. I'm just a fan of basketball. If they don't respond here, this game over. LSU humming on offense. Uses motion. On play action. Across the middle. Nice game, Tom. Star linebacker. He's trying to get it to his he's trying to get to his receivers, but he can't. Yeah, I'm a big Russ fan, man. I, I mean I was an OKC fan. First down, ten yards to go. If they 21, then that's it. <clears throat> we simulating. Single set backfield. Little handoff. Booby! I mean, we simulating regardless after this drive. To the fourth quarter at least. Hey, man. I don't want to play my ball game. It depends who we play. I'm just salty. I want to be in the national championship. Third down, seven yards to go. I am salty. Brings in the nickel here. I want the natty. Drop back to pass. Throws off his Great screen pass. A little juke. Good open field tackle. They should have did that to, to Booby though. Yeah, I uh I, I seen uh how he played last game. I'm happy for him. Hopefully he can keep being a good six man until whatever happens with him. I hope I hope he could be a good six man and and then he go to another team next year and uh do they do his thing essentially. LSU is missing their starting quarterback, man. Uh oh, uh oh. Okay, y'all. I don't know what happened. I wasn't touching nothing. I wasn't controlling nothing. We got a ball game. Number 11 is in the shotgun. He's got three receivers split out wide. Back to pass. Let's it go on the run. Complete, and he's brought down. And a nice pick up there. It ain't over. That's crazy. I didn't expect that. Quarter oh, they threw two picks too. Quarterback play just haven't been consistent. In the backfield, they couldn't make the tackle. Good, good team tackle right there, though. Second and five. Ball on the twenty-eight yard. We gonna see, man. I hope so. Give me a hope to maybe possibly get in there, but I doubt it. Catches it. He's out of bounds. Wow, they lost yards on that play. That's crazy. Big third down right here. It's third and eight. Huge third down right here. Thirty-one. Miles. Is the deep back as they line up in the eye. They can get a sack, get them out of field goal range, possibly. They're definitely passing the ball. Look at the throw. They blitzed. Oh, they got him to the. And that pass and catch gives them a first down. I like the defensive call, but it was a better offensive one. Golly. Tenth play of the drive. Game of inches, man. First get it to their superstar. The Gators bring in their quarters defensive package. Drop back to pass. He zips it out. They still only they got they can still only give up a field goal in a good position. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. The handoff on the counter gets to about the eleven. Second down. So they line up on the three-yard line going in. LSU will line up in a jumbo set here. The Tigers come to the line with their jumbo package. They bring them down in the backfield. They ran right into that defense. They line up Another the big third down. Wasn't expecting this either. I don't know if I like the defense. Wow. Gutsy play. Very gutsy play. Crazy play. That's a crazy play call. That's some real T T Tim Tebow shit. All right, Cam. At the twenty-yard line, first and ten. There are four. What you got, baby? The quarterback in the gun. They come out with four wideouts. They'll run the option. Good run. And he's taken down. Second down and five. Florida need a drive of their life right here. 
The Gators come out in a shotgun. Back to pass. Mm. And this one's broken up. He was a little too late to the sideline. Big third down, big third down. Third down. From the gun. I don't love that play call. If he had his Cam Newton speed, that's an easy first. Third and twelve. Third down and twelve to go. Ball on the forty one. Look at the throw. He's got a throw. Screenplay. Oh, they got it to him. Can't wrap him up. A little juice. They still got life. They still got life. The offense will take over at the twenty four. First down. What's I gonna do, Florida? Going with the shot. They gotta call better play calls too, though. I ain't gonna lie. Here comes the pressure. He steps out at the twenty number one. I don't know what happened with the timing or what. We've got a first Whoa, game. I don't know what happened. Florida just need to sim. They need me to simulate. Every time I simulate with Florida, they be balling. That was an accident. Oh, that's tough. It's second down now. Fourteen to go. That's tough right there. Never want to move backwards, especially in two-minute offense. Way to make up that yardage for third down. It's not third and short, but it ain't third and long either. <clears throat> the Gators come out with a bunch formation on the left side. He drops back. Oh, he had somebody wide open, bro. How about that play, bro? He had somebody wide open, bro. Oh, who is that? Oh, that was the tight end. I thought that was the quarterback that threw that. They still got all their timeouts. That's weird. Third down and a couple miles here. Another third down. Florida brings in the nickel here, and it looks like we have our EA Sports players of the game. LSU is up a score. Just over a minute left. A pick would have been beautiful right there. They on a seven yard line. Line up at the 27. Second down. You seen them open too. That's not the play, bro. Cam Newton, folks. I ain't gonna lie. Cam Newton had a chance to take this game, bro. Third and five. Number 13 lines up in the shotgun. What's good, Pickle Rick? Brings in their nickel package. Looks to pass. Hurry up, offense. Hurry up, offense. What's good, brother? We've got a first and ten. Hurry up, offense. What are y'all doing? Number 13 is in the gun. He's open. First down. Look at the throw. That's fine. I take it. Way to get out of bounds. Second and three coming up. Ball in their own 47. Same thing, man. Been working, chilling now. Guess I got a little off day. Call it with a, I guess I got to call it a little off day. He got so many people open down the field, bro. Glad you pulled up, Pickle Rick. Nice to see you again, man. No, they fucking not. Stop lying. Number 13 is back in the gun. They'll throw on first down. Swatted away. Boy, that was a good defensive effort. He will not hold the ball to throw it down the field, man. It's second down and ten to go. Ball on the forty. Got my hopes up. Pickle Rick, we watching this game because they're number one. I'm number four. I'm number five, and I needed somebody to lose. Get down, get down. Call a timeout. Get down. Call a timeout. Call a timeout. Yep, it was good enough to get him the first down. Florida. We'll take their final timeout. We're watching them because if they could beat this team, I possibly can be make it to the national championship game. But it's gonna be it's gonna be a stretch. Comes all down to this right here. 
Come on, Cam. Why you don't wait? Get Cam the fuck off my screen, man. Only if fucking, only if my boy wasn't hurt. If Tim Tebow wasn't hurt, that's a guaranteed dub, man. Guaranteed dub, man. Oh, my fucking phone died.